All right, 360CEOs, economicmastery.com, 360CEOs. I'm Derek Whitehead, and I want you to get a pencil and a piece of paper because I'm going to roll, rock and roll, and uh, I want to make sure everybody has a pencil and a paper. And one second. And Millen, we have no sound. Millen, no sound. Millen, can you unmute? And let's see. Hold on one second. And let's see if we can get this sound working. Unmute. And Millen, we have no sound. No sound. See, Millen, no sound. Summary apps, chat. Uh, and no sound. Can't unmute. And Millen, there is no sound. All right. Millen, can you hear me? Yes, there was technical difficulties. I apologize. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So now we can hear. So let me see if I can reduce this thing here. All right. Thank you, everybody, for being here. We're economicbasery.com, 360 CEOs. I am Dirk Whitehead. And what to learn today is the secrets of how to get $100,000, $200,000, $300,000, from the bank, even a million dollars from the bank. That's right. I said even a million dollars from the bank. The money's free. <laughs> Anybody that's been here before, they know I go through uh, A to Z. So what I want you to do is first get yourself a pencil and a paper. A pencil and a paper, right? So this way, you won't miss out anything. Don't come back later on when there's question and answers saying, hey, Mr. Whitehead, what did you say earlier? Unless you came in late, please get a pencil and paper, write this stuff down. Because first of all, I may be saying some things that you've never heard before. And every time we come on here, I try to slip in a little gem. There's some people that's been on here before, many times before, but... Uh, you know, so I try to go from A to Z, uh, but I also want to slip in a few little things in there. Also, though, I'm not here just to show you no uh, little simple thing, no little simple Simon stuff. I want you to think big. I want you to think big, really big, 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 right? This is not going to be your regular webinar where I'm going to sit here and talk about me all day, right? Because you didn't come here to talk about me. Right. You came here to find out what you can learn so that you can take your family and yourself to the top. Next thing I want you to know is that a lot of scammers out there, scammers, scammers, scamming. They, they're taking my picture. Right. Uh, uh, all my information. And what they're doing is they're putting uh, they're putting up uh, talking, acting like they're me and then telling people, give me some money for Bitcoin or give me some money for ins uh, insurance. I would never do that. I don't do that. I don't ask you for any money. Okay? So if there's somebody on there talking about the Derek Whitehead uh, uh, and they're asking you for money, or it could be like Derek uh, dot Whitehead or Derek Whitehead dot dot or Derek underscore dot, that's not me. So it's going to be Derek P. Whitehead with that blue chip, right? Or it's going to be 
uh, Derek Wright at period, and make sure that it's me because I'm not here to take money from you. I'm here to help you get some. All right, I've been very blessed. So what I want to do is give a little back. So those of you that, that says are skeptical about this, I sometimes am on here till three o'clock in the morning. Three o'clock in the morning, sometimes I'm on here trying to teach. And look, get a, get a pencil and paper and let's rock and roll. All right, so uh, Derek Whitehead, Alpha Incorporated, 360 CEOs. We're not brokers, we're not finders, we're not attorneys, we're not tax people, we're none of that. What we are is consultants. And uh, what we do is something called a scratch pub code. <clears throat> scratch pub code. So I say, I, you know, I may say some things that you've never heard before. So what I want to do is, is I want to clarify what a scratch pub code is. I want to teach you the high steps. Think about the billion dollars. When I show you how to get that seed money, right? And I give you from, from, my, from my point of view, this is Alpha Incorporated's point of view. We are consultants. If you need any of those other people that I mentioned earlier, please contact those people. If you're looking for motivation, you're in the wrong spot, right? That's Tony Robbins. I think that's, you know, next door. Great guy, but not here. So you might as well leave now if you're looking for me to motivate you. I'm not here to motivate you. I want you to be money. I want you to uh, look out and get that money for your family so that you can get to the next level. What's the next level, Mr. Whitehead? Well, the next level is, is taking your family and becoming a publicly traded company after you've exhausted the money from the banks, after you've exhausted the money from the, from the uh, 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 credit unions, and some of y'all know what I'm talking about, after you've exhausted your money from, from the community banks, and I want to show you how to do that, I want you to now start thinking about private equity. I want you to start thinking about taking your company public, just like Google or anybody else. The reason that you don't know how to do that it's not hard. It's not hard. It's just that nobody's taking the time to show you. All right. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try to take the time to show you. All right. All right. So let's begin. I'm not going to talk a whole lot about me. You didn't come here to hear a whole lot about me. So let me see if I can go over here. And see gallery all right and standard where is everybody let me see if i can see everybody i can't see anybody side by side so. okay speaker and let's see bear with me a minute let's see if i can i'm a teacher but i'm not a uh technical guy so let me bear with me while i get this thing up here because i want to be able to see everybody's uh you asked a lot of questions i want to be able to see some of the questions that you ask peace to you fury good evening carlton wilson Please, I want you to hold your questions. There's going to be question and answers. So when the question and answers come, I want you to be able to write down what your questions are through this and then say, this is what's going to help me get to the top. And nobody knows everything, including me. If somebody tells you they know everything, they're a damn lie. Run away from them and say, bye. All right, bye, because you're lying. You don't know, nobody knows everything. But I'm going to use my 30 years of knowledge to try to answer your questions. Okay? So let me see if I can yeah, get. Can you, can you go to the other one and hit live on the other platform? Like just go to the other browser and hit live with the live button so we can go on, the, on, the, on the Instagram and all these. Okay. How far do I go down? <clears throat> no, when you open it, you will see the live uh, red button when it says go live or something. Okay, it says uh, it's clicking. It says live, so it's okay. It says, okay. All right. So we don't want to leave anybody out. I want you to be respectful. Don't don't write comments about you know things and people and this and that. We're here to learn. If I'm saying something that you may know already, well, guess what? There was some things. There was sometimes. At what point you know a lot of this stuff? So no person is left behind here. 
So I'm not going to uh, skip over some, I'm, some I'm, I might say, you know what, uh, what is the trade line? What's the credit score? And I'm going to explain that because some people may not know what that is, right? So be patient because you're smarter than them. Don't put them down. All right. So don't please don't say stuff like that in the chat. All right. So no man or woman is left behind up in here. So let's get it rocking. All right. So uh, the secrets I had to get 100, 200, 300, 400, 5,000 dollars. This is not your regular uh, webinar. This is a. Uh, it's coming from here to here to you. Do the best I can. Now, if you're doing credit, if you're doing corporations, if you're doing uh, any of the stuff that I know about or I may know little about, don't hesitate to let me know so I can expand or try to expand what you're already doing because you're no threat to me. If you're doing corporations, you're doing credit, you're doing uh, uh, funding, whatever, you're no threat to me. Maybe I can enhance what you're doing. So go ahead and say it. Don't come say, well, I'm going to go in here and, and hide myself and find out all I can. I want you to know it. Hello? Because in the morning time, what I do is I, do, I, I take companies public. A privately a private placement, take a company's public, raise millions of dollars. So you're no threat to me. You're no threat to me. And even if you did take companies public, then we can come in and do something together. All right. So come in and ask your questions. Don't come in thinking, oh, I'm going to steal a little bit of this, steal it. You don't have to. I'm going to give it to you. All right. So let's rock and roll. If I do 3.5 million to 6.5 million taking the company public and I do five or six of them a year, I'm straight. All right. So that's what I do in the morning. So what we want to do is we want to do something called a scratch pub code. Now, you can write that down, but you're not going to find this on the Internet. You're not going to find this and nobody's going to teach you this. Because it's kind of against the rules to teach a scratch pub code, but I'm going to t attempt to teach you. What's a scratch pub code? You guys saying, well, well, he's not going by the slides. <laughs> well, I, I, I see the slides, but I don't always go by any slides. I go by what I think I should say. All right. So bear with me if you see slides and I vary a little bit. That's only because I'm something's coming to mind. And I'm saying I need to teach somebody to tell them this. So the scratch pub code is not on this slide. But listen, a scratch pub code is very important. That's taking a company from scratch, nothing, all the way to a publicly traded company. And that is what they call a scratch publicly traded company or anything in between. So if say, say for instance, you living in your car. If you got a license and you got a social security card, you can get this. If you have a bunch of money and you got $5 million already, $10 million, or, uh, or, 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 or let's say you're in the middle slot, you can learn more how to take companies public or do private equity. That private equity, all right? That's why they call it hedge funds. I want to show you how to go and not just get some credit card stacking or go in and get some money from the bank. But also, when you reach a certain plateau, hedge funds. And after you get that money, $5, $10 million, then you can go in and take a company public. Imagine you being, being a, a, a Google. Imagine you being a Bank of America, a publicly traded company. Why not you? Why not you? All right. So let's start by uh, not going to talk a whole bunch about me. I was... I was poor. Now I'm rich. We ain't going into that. You're not interested in that. Neither am I really. So what I tip, what I show you today is the secrets I had to get 100, 200, 300, 400, 500,000 dollars, a million from the bank. The bank is a lending institution. It's not a hold your damn money institution. So stop all that putting your money in the bank and get nothing for it. Get a corporation and get large amounts for it. And you control everything and own nothing. We're going to start doing a whole new game here. And this is not uh, a black and white thing. This ain't no green and, and orange thing. This is a money thing because they don't give a damn about white folks no more either. <laughs> all right. They only care about rich and poor. So I hope everybody understands where I'm coming from. All right. Now, let's get on into this. First thing we want to do is we're going to tell you next slide. We want to try to get all across to you. The foundation, the foundation. So you're going to say, man, come on with it. 
but give me four or five minutes so I can explain to you the foundation. All right. If you don't, if you don't understand, if you never took the driving test, and let's say you go from California to 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 New York, and you took the test, but you didn't really study the test, so you kind of ignorant of, of the rules. You just passed the test. Well, guess what? The cop pulls you over. All of a sudden, it's get out the car. Now your heart beating, right? He <laughs> said, "Well, why? I just give me my ticket." You're gonna say because you drove over a hundred miles an hour. You say, "So what?" He says. That's a felony. Now I'm gonna take your car, I'm gonna take you, I'm gonna put you in jail, and you're gonna be a felon, and you ain't gonna have a gun, you can't have nothing, you can't vote nothing. Why? Because you didn't know the damn rules. So we're not gonna go on the football field with a tennis racket talking about one love, two love. Somebody's gonna tear a hole in your behind. Because this is a contact sport. Business is a contact sport. They have a book that's called The Art of War. And this is a this is chess. This ain't checkers. And this is war. So we need to put on our armor, learn the rules. So let me start out by showing you the rules. All right. So CEO of Alpha Incorporated, blah, 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 30 years in business, high-end banking. I was the manager of a Bank of America Holdings who lent the money to the banks. I taught a lot of these guys. So what I want to do is to teach you some of the secrets that was told to me. Right, so I managed over twenty point two billion dollars with a with a two hundred billion dollar hedge fund of market traded notes. Say so, so what? He's bragging. I'm not bragging. I'm telling you, you can do the same thing. Everything is a note. So keep in mind the micro one, two, three, four, five hundred million dollars. That's pennies. That's pennies to the bank. Do you realize if you put a thousand dollars in the bank, the bank now has ten thousand dollars on their books? So they're helping, you're helping them more than they're helping you, right? Only a bank can do that unless I teach you how to leverage. Now we want to get into that, how to leverage. So we're going to take you from scratch, but keep in mind, that's your micro. That's your micro money. Keep in mind, it's a billion dollar world out here. This 1965 where they, you know, a million dollars was a lot of money. This is 2024. Or should I say 24 or 24, right? This is no, this is this is a billion dollar world. So I want to make sure that you understand that you can go to certain heights if somebody just gives you this, this concept or this construct. And once I do that, don't just listen to what I say when this is over and then start going out there talking about, ooh, ooh, look what I look what I learned, bragging. Because if you go on the internet teaching everybody and teaching everybody you know, right, it's gonna be over. Game gonna be over, right? So I was taught a long time ago by a lot of billionaire people, Mr. Derrick, have a seat, yes sir. Fix your tie, I don't know what that's always about. Fix your pocket, yes sir, yes, yes sir. The game is to be sold and not told. Remember that. So if I sit here and teach you all day, don't go out trying to show off about, look what I know, look what I know. Look, can save something to tell God. Like my grandma, my grandma used to tell me, right? Save something to tell God, <laughs> okay? So look, let's get into it. You remove that slide, you know, you're 20, 20.2 billion. In my world, 22 two point billion in the high finance world is little. Is little. So I want you to look up, if you get time, a publicly traded company and call a small capitalization, a small cap. A small cap in high finance is $25 billion. So the people I hang around in the daytime, because I'm always looking for people that, has more, that have more than me. And I want you to start looking at the people you around and saying, hey, I love y'all, but I'm also looking for people that are doing better than me. Because look at the person that makes the, the most money in your group. That's you'll be somewhere around there. So if they're making $100,000 and that's your highest, like Will Smith said, if you're smarter and have more money than everybody you know, all your friends, it's time to get some new damn friends. All right. So in my world, I'm talking to people. People are impressed by you. You manage $20.2 market traded notes. I want you to keep in mind 
that the note is everything. Let me say that again. The note is everything. So when you buy a house, what do you get? You get a deed and a note. The bank is controlling the note. When you go and you look at your dollar bill, it says Federal Reserve note. When you go and you get it, you get a credit card. You say, oh, I owe the bank. That's really a note. Anybody time you owe somebody, that's a note, a note on a car, a note on a, on a, a, a yacht, a note on anything. And you can buy these notes for pennies on the dollar if they're not performing. So if the bank, the bank has all the notes in the world because nobody has more money than a note. Am I right? Then the bank. Nobody has more money in the bank. I don't care if you put the most 10 richest people together. They all together won't have more money than the bank because that's where they get the money from. Keep that in mind. So we want to start first get this seed money, then foundation capital, then springboard funding. Let me explain that. So seed money. If you got a little bit of money, you say, I make six figures. People bragging. I make $150,000 a year on six figures. Really? The bank don't give a damn about how much money you have. The bank cares about what your company is worth. And you as an individual cannot be worth but so much because you're under moral law. Moral law. Thou should not go into court. Thou should not do this. Thou should not do that. Break the moral law. You go to, you get a penalty. Corporations are under water law. We have to know the rules and what we're working with. I want everybody out there that came on here, I want you to know more than all those on that, on that damn internet. All right? So the corporation is under water law. It doesn't have regulation. It's the wild, wild west. So that's why they will give it much more money. That's why you have liquidity. That's why you have currency. That's why you put your money maritime law. That's right. Naomi, maritime law. Exactly. So that's why you put your money in the bank. The bank is where you is, is where the water meets the land, right? That's the bank. The banks of the Nile, right? It's the bank. So it's under water law. That's why a pirate can go out, take every damn thing on your ship, the bounty, the gold. And by the way, money that what we call money is fiat money. It's not real. Since 1975, we're not on the gold standard. Old Nixon took us off the gold standard and said, hey, look, this money is not real. It's fiat. So it's just numbers in a computer. So we want to learn how to get our name, not us, but Old Willie Corporation in a computer and have it and have those, those shares that are worth nothing. And we're going to talk about that. The shares in a company are worth zero par value. Zero par value. So we want to, our job is to make those shares worth a lot of money. Well, 1933 was when uh, they had the uh, the president uh, Roosevelt came up with the uh, uh, the Social Security Act. But in 1975, Nixon was the one who came about and and uh, and uh, and. Uh, and basically said, uh, this is fiat money. Okay, so now we want to make sure that this corporation has has huge value. We don't own anything. We get money to do business. We don't do business to get money. Let me say that again, because some people may not understand that. If you walk into, we own a two car dealerships in San Diego. Low end, 6920 Miramar Road, San Diego, lovely, beautiful, low, high end, low end. Prime Auto, we sell, we sell Honda, Toyota, and Nissan. The high end Prima Auto, we sell Jaguar, Mercedes, BMW, and Bentley. Now, I'm not bragging. I'm only telling you that because I'm saying to you, it's just credit. It's just credit. So how am I selling? How does Mr. White sell selling all these luxury cars, Rolls Royce? Because it's credit. Because I know the corporation gets much more money than I can ever get because it's under water law. So old peg leg would go back in the day and take everything off your ship. He'd take the gold, the bounty, the booty, the 
everything and go back to shore, have a drink and say, yo, ho, ho, the bottle of rum. He says, arrest him. He did that. He said, sorry, he did that in the water. We can't do nothing to him. Well, we want to go in and deal with some of this water law. Now, the whole game is you go in, we get Willie to walk in, and if Willie screws up, if we screw up, we're done. If Willie screws up, guess what? Willie's not getting any more credit. Willie is done. I'm sorry, Willie. Bye. Then you go to your car and you come back in and you say, I got Leroy. Can you give Leroy some money? And then Leroy, you get some money for Leroy and you turn around and say, oh no, Willie done screwed up. Leroy screwed up too. You say, Willie ain't getting any more money from this bank. Nobody's giving you any money. Get out of here, <laughs> right? You got a five paydex, <laughs> right? You say, oh no. You say, oh no. Bye, bye Leroy. And you go to your car and you come back with Wilhelmina. That's why rich folks never go down. They only take a lateral or they go up. So that's what we want to learn today. All right. So now that we understand that, go to the next slide. We want to understand what the what we are and how we do it. Now, some people come to me, they write all the time. I said, I ain't here to talk about me. They said, who are you, Mr. White? Who the hell are you? You know, you got any background? You did anything? So we're going to spend about two minutes, three minutes, and tell you who I am, then we're going to move on. All right, so Derek White, and I funded and helped politicians, congressmen, athletes, entrepreneurs, the scaling companies, the multi-million dollar businesses. All right, some of the people that I've helped, does it? you got uh, Catino here, Catino Mobley, basketball player, pro ball player, played for the Houston Rockets, played against Shaq and, and – uh, a bunch of basketball teams and this that great ball player he's on our website saying thank you mr derrick thank you derrick whitehead for all you taught me in business i made millions of dollars in ball but thank you for teaching me business over there shante moore beautiful shante moore and myself over there and the woman in the red in the hat myself in the tuxedo that is dr shirley weber she's the secretary of state of california and myself over there is the wonderful kimberly ellis and myself in the tuxedo. Uh, you see where I got a little fat there, so you see a pudge coming out <laughs> in the tuxedo, <laughs> right? That's me and Kimberly Ellis. She ran for the president of the Democratic Party. President of the Democratic, that's the person that issues out the money, right? Over there is a senator, as you can see, me and myself. Down at the bottom there is a congresswoman in the white. Down there in the middle, that's the guy with, he, he was the council for two presidents. Council for two presidents. Over there is a, a congresswoman, Taisha Brown. Look her up out of San Diego. She's the person that helps senators and congressmen and people like that get elected. She's also on our website saying, thank you, Derek, for teaching me business. Go to economicbasery.com, go to testimonials, and you'll see a lot of these people on there saying, thank you, Derek. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So down there at the bottom, the man with the glasses on, that is Mr. Carnitas. Mr. Carnitas is the president of the Mexican Union. The president of the Mexican Union. Marinate on that. If he says, stop, they say, stop. If he says, go, okay, let's go, <laughs> right? He's a very powerful man. Uh, down there is Taisha Brown and, and uh, Council for Two Presidents. Over there is a congressman. Uh, I actually was at the Democratic Party twice talking about taking companies, uh, getting jobs. No. Stop talking about getting jobs. Get people corporations so they can be independent. You teach a man how to go in and fish or a woman, they eat forever. You give them a fish, they eat for a day. So please don't come on and say, Mr. Derrick, can you do this for me? No, I'm here to help you do it yourself. All right. So that's a congressman over there. This guy is, uh, <laughs> uh, if he gets a hold at the festivities, he grabs a drink. If he gets a hold of you, he won't let you go. You know, I knew John F. Kennedy. They were good men. You know, oh, yes, sir. Yes. Sir. <laughs> good, very good man. Good man. You see his Congress pin on, right? Over there to the left, we have an office down in 7th and B in San Diego. On 7th and B in the University uh, Symphony Hall building, University Club. You have to be invited to be at the University Club. That's all the way to the right. These two gentlemen, uh, 
you know, anybody that wants to come down and see me, it's people that hide are people that do things that's not right with people. So I don't have to hide, right? I don't do things wrong to people or, or play games with people or their money or any of that. So these two guys, they said, Derek, don't mention our names. But if I told you the name of their company, you'd say, what? I'm sure 85% of everybody would know their company. So they flew their little jet down for me to take a part of their company public. We're on the 34th floor down in San Diego. We are uh, in the Symphony Hall, beautiful Symphony Hall. We have the Court of Appeals over us and um, beautiful building. A couple of my students came down, came down to visit me. And uh, one of them said, Mr. Whitehead, we you. I wasn't there. And first of all, you cannot get in. It's very private. You have to let me know. And when you come in there, right, I said, I, I, I don't live there. You got to let me know you're coming. So they came back. We went up there. We had a great time, you know, Marvel and all of this and that. And, and uh, they came to my house. Um, then we went up to my ranch and we had a good time. I took them shooting on my ranch. And then we went and had some dinner and we had a great time. So some of my students did that. Anytime anybody wants to validate that, I can throw some pictures and videos up of, of uh, some of the students there. And uh, so nobody's that damn big where they can't say hello. Nobody. People tend to think because they got some money that they all of that. You ain't all of that. You're the same person you was. It's just that when you get money, if you was nasty, you're going to be 10 times nastier. And if you was decent and nice, you're going to be 10 times na nicer. Money tends to bring out in people. So you say, here he is preaching. If I'm going to teach and I'm going to teach a long time, I want to let you know where I'm coming from. And I hopefully you can listen. Don't let money take you into some nasty world. All right. You get money so you can have a better family and then take somebody next to you and help them a little bit. That's just a little bit. All right. So uh, over there is uh, he has needs no introduction. Right. This brother here is a good brother. I've known him for a long time. And uh, you probably saw him on Fridays with Ice Cube and, and all of that. You know, bang, bang, bang. They call him Pops. You know, he has since passed away. But I love him. I love him. That's my main man. You, you know, that's Pops. You need, don't need no introduction. That's my man. All right, so that's enough about me. Anybody wants to know, go to the testimonial page, and you'll see all kinds of people on there saying, Thank you. I was at uh, Tina Knowles and Richard Lawson, Beyonce's mother and, and uh, stepfather, at their gala. So you probably can look on the uh, internet and you can see me at their gala. They go by kind of kind of slow and you'll see me in the background. I'm the guy in the back. I'm always the guy in the back, right? So now I'm coming up front to teach you. So those of you who say, who are you? Well, I'm usually the guy in the back somewhere, you know, and, and uh, if Beyonce is making a $10 million, I want you to know the businessman or the businesswoman that's putting that on, they're making $100 million. So this is business. Be the person that's funding the people. You don't do the work. You don't do none of that. It's called non-performance income. You don't come here and work. You come here, get the money from the bank, and then put somebody to work and you sit back and figure out how you can grow the company. All right, so now let's, let's uh, next slide and let's get to talking about how to get the money. I have to give you a little foundation before we get this popping. So the first thing I want you to know is, this is a corporation. Let's call this Willie Corporation. The corporation is here to get money. Some people say, oh, I, I'm getting my LLC. Good. Girl, you got your LLC? I've been, I been had my LLC. When you get your LLC? We're going to talk about the LLC, all right? <laughs> all right. Some people say, I'm going to get this business. I'm going to get this corporation so I can do business. No, I want you to take the red pill tonight. I want you to go in and say, you know what? The reason I do business is because I got a court. You get the corporation and then you get money. Then you take the money and you do business. You do not get a corporation so you can do business. 
We need to understand the rules here. Do not figure you're going to go and pay me for a $135,000 car, $100,000, $300,000 Rolls Royce with a corporation. Corporations are not to do business. Corporations, 2,000 years ago, they made the corporation so that it can be can get money from the bank. That's what this is called. Now, I want you to write this down. I want you to write down a special purpose entity and a special purpose vehicle. Special purpose entity and a special purpose vehicle. SPE, SPV. Now, what does that mean? That means that this corporation is put in place so that it can get money not to do business. The corporation is an excuse to get money. And then you take the money and you go do business. We get money to do business. We do not do business to get money. Now, I want everybody to understand that. Okay? So, a special purpose entity. A special purpose entity is to get money. You say, Mr. White, if somebody asks me, what is a special purpose for? I said to get some damn money. That's what a special purpose is for. It's a special purpose vehicle or a special purpose entity. Now, if it's a special, if you if the bank likes what you're doing, then this is a special purpose entity. I want everybody to understand that. If the bank likes what you're doing, this is a special purpose entity. Why am I calling it an entity? Because I'm a person, it's a person. They made a piece of, a piece of paper a person. Now that we understand that, this piece of paper is an entity. So it's a special purpose, depending on purpose. Got it? So if you like, if the bank likes what you're doing, then guess what? It's a special purpose entity. If they don't like what you're doing, then it is a special purpose vehicle. Make sense? So now, let's look at this further. If you have, I want everybody to write down SIC code. SIC code. What is an SIC code? An SIC code is a sick code. SIC code is a sick code. What does that mean? That is an identification number that the bank looks at to see if they're going to give you some money or how much money they're going to give you. Make sense? All right. So we want to please the underwriter because that's the person that's going to mark it off and say, here's the money. We don't want to please the customer service person that brings all everybody in. We want to please the underwriter whose job is to get everybody the hell out of there and save the bank from losses. So we're walking in there. If they say, I want you to wear red shoes, red socks, and a red coat. Are you going to walk in the bank and you'll get some money? Are you going to walk in the bank with red socks, red shoes, and a blue coat? That would be stupid. You only do that if you didn't know the rules. So I'm teaching you right now, you need to know that an SIC code is what the bank is going to look at. All right? So let me pull this up. Okay, so the SIC code is an identifier. So the identifier is, let's say, for instance, uh, you do, let's say you do uh, construction. Let's say, let's say you do uh, something risky, like tr trucks. Well, guess what? Trucks are very, 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 very serious. They're very dangerous. And thank, put your hats off to truckers because all you see them is sitting on the side of the road or going up and down the road. They're, they're hardly ever in trouble. Trucks are hardly ever in trouble. But things that are risky, banks don't lend money to. Things that are dangerous, they don't lend money to. Construction, real estate, they don't lend money to real estate. And I'll show you later on how to do that. They don't lend money to uh, the doctors, like a doctor may uh, operate on somebody. No, that's very dangerous. So now that we know that, we want to know what the banks like. So I want everybody to look up 
what a what sit codes the banks like when you get a chance google it and see what do the banks like now let me give you a, a few things they like they like technology they like consulting they like uh uh um you know doing things like a plumbing you know a service you know some kind of service or sales those are things that the banks like so the other things that they don't like is i just mentioned the real estate because real estate comes and goes but there's a way to do it and then they don't like uh you know trucks very dangerous stuff so look and see what the sit code uh uh what's bank what the sit, sit codes that the banks like now that we understand that this is a special purpose vehicle or a special purpose entity. If you're doing something like uh, that they like, like consulting or, or marketing or something like that, then this is a special purpose entity. The special purpose is against So you can do business and not, not do business money. That's what this is for. Uh, depends on what kind of health care. All right, depends on what kind of health care. Yeah, so, so, but be safe and look up what you're trying to do. Be safe and look it up. Now, if you are doing something that the banks don't like, maybe you want to buy a, some trucks or you want to buy a tractor trailer and drive. Banks don't like that. So this becomes a special purpose vehicle. Now, what do vehicles do? Vehicles drive things, right? They drive things like trucks and cars, they're vehicles. So if you tell the bank, I'm doing trucking, you're not getting any money. So people wonder, why do I get any money? Because you got the wrong sick code. That's why you're not getting any money, right? So this becomes a special purpose vehicle. Now, if you're doing something that the bank don't like, then why would you say something they don't like? Why, why wouldn't you name it something that they like? And then when you get the money, then you can take the money and drive it where you want it to go. Special purpose entity, special purpose vehicle. Got it? All right. So we want to make sure that you understand why you don't get money from the bank. Number two, you want to not get money from the bank? You want to not get money from the bank? Pause the Zoom and put your phone up and use. Uh, let's see, what message are we getting here? Instagram isn't working on the app. Let's see. Let's see. Looks like we have And here. And and there you go all right okay so let's see okay how's that is that good fellas is that good ladies all right so now we want to make sure that we understand the uh, special purpose entity, special purpose vehicle, right? So the special purpose vehicle, special purpose entity, I want you to look up what a SIC code is, a SIC code. A SIC, a SIC code is an identifier to the bank. The, the SIC code says, let's say, 14562. 145, for instance, could mean you're a truck driver. 562 means I'm in the transportation industry. So if you are a truck driver in the transportation industry, you have the wrong sick code, so you're not going to get the money. Right? You're not going to get the money. So I want to make sure you have the correct sick code. All right? Now, I want you to understand also is that step one, you need to have a good FICO. Step one, we want to go and get the money, right? So we want to we want to have a good FICO. So what's a FICO? Some people say, well, Mr. Whitehead, I already know that. But be patient. Nobody here is left behind. 
So be patient. We want to describe what a good FICO is. And, and just because you know it doesn't mean that it doesn't mean everybody else knows it. Right. So at one point, again, you didn't know some things and we may some say some things that you don't know. So what we want to do is we want to have a good FICO. So you're going to do cred court fund, cred corporation funding. OK. OK, let's, let's go here so we can see here. OK. There you go. OK, so credit corporation funding, credit corp fund. So what we want to do is, is go in and first get our credit together. So a lot of times I say, I ask people, I say, how's your credit? They say, well, my score, my score is, oh, my score is a seven, six, my score is a 690. I didn't ask you what your score is. We're funding, right? So funding operation, they want to know what your FICO is. What's your FICO? So now let's talk about the FICO. In order to be a personal guarantor, the bank is going to say, who's going to borrow the money? You're going to say, Willie Corporation is. They're going to say, who's going to pay us back? You're going to say, Willie is going to pay it, pay you back. You, they're going to say, okay, so since you're going no documentation and stated income, they're going to say, well, wait a minute. You're not going to, you have no documentation. So who's going to guarantee we get paid back? And you're going to say, I am. I am because I have a great FICO. So I'm going to be the PG. PG simply means personal guarantor. Let's see, we have uh, issues here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. So I am going to guarantee, personally guarantee it because I have a good FICO. Now, there's a difference between a FICO and a credit score. So what I want to do is I want to explain to you what a good FICO is, right? So. A credit score is when you're going in and, you, and, and you're going to borrow some money from like, uh, they start at 100 points and they work down. That's collateralized lending. That means the underwriter is going to look at a lot of times from 100 points and work down. So that's a lot of room, right? But in corporations, you only have, an, you have 50 points and work down. You can't afford to lose a whole lot of points. Let me see if I can straighten this out here. Let's see. All right. Now, so you don't have a whole lot of points. So when you're going in and you're trying to fund a corporation, the corporation, if you're doing 100 points working down, that's your personal. The personal, they'll just take that stuff back. That's collateralized lending. They will take the house back. They'll take the car back. So we're not trying to have that, right? So what we want to do is use the corporation because the United States is a corporation out of Delaware. Go look up. It's a corporation. So the United States is a court. Underneath it is, is a, a, the states are corporations. The cities are corporations. The people are corporations. The cities are very are corporations unless you're very rural. So the people are corporations. If you don't believe me, turn over your social. You'll see a corporate number on the back. And then what they do is when your mother says, they can be a citizen when you're born. It says, okay, fine. Now we'll make them a corporation and now we can borrow. They will, we will put them on the moral law and we will make them a corporation so we can borrow money off of you. So when you're borrowing the money from the bank, you're borrowing your own money. So they take the money, a billion dollars, put it in one of the 12 Federal Reserve banks and, and look at the back of your social, whatever the, the uh, letter, is on the back of your social, that's where your money is in one of the 12 banks. Beautiful system they set up, right? So they take that money, put it in the bank, and then they then they put it in bonds, US saving bonds, or US bonds rather, treasury notes. Everything's a note. Remember I told you everything's a note, right? A negotiable instrument or a note. So they take that and they put that into Bonds, and that regulates the interest rates. And they use that to borrow the money from the Fed. We are $40 trillion almost 
in debt to the Federal Reserve Bank. So if you don't have a corporation, you're not even a part of the game because you are their straw man or straw woman. So you need to have your own straw man or straw woman so you don't have to talk about being sovereign. I'm going to be sovereign. I'm going to, I'm a more, I'm going to separate. That's fine and good to know and understand. But guess what? They made a long time ago when they made this system, their own sovereignty. This is their straw man. This is their straw man. So you go in and get yourself a corporation and you own nothing and control everything. You control this corporation, but you own nothing. So if the United States of America go bomb someplace and they say, oh, we're going we're gonna to sue you or put you in jail, Biden. He says, I didn't do that. The United States of America did that. So that's the same thing we're going to do, right? So when something happens with the court, I'm not saying rip the bank off because that's what you don't want. You're taking pennies instead of getting the dollars if you don't do what you're supposed to do. But sometimes your baby is not as pretty as you think it is, right? Your business may not be as pretty as you think it is. So if Willie happens to mess up, unlike your personal, you can wriggle out of that situation and say, oh no, you mess up, you're dead in the water for seven years, right? Bad credit, you're not getting anything here, no buying power. But if Willie messes up, you're just a guarantor for Willie. You can wiggle out of that and say, okay, bye, Willie. Bye. And you'll go back in and get Leroy. And then you fund Leroy. And then you turn around and say, Leroy messed up. Oh, no, Willie can't get no more money. Bye, Leroy. And you pull out Wilhelmina and go get some money and keep it moving. Now, if you Willie Mina or Willie don't mess up, now, after the end of the year, you can go back and borrow only for Willie whatever you PG'd and pay it off, and now you're free from the game. That's the game. So that's what nobody's teaching you because I'm a banker. I taught these guys, so I'm here to try to teach you that, okay? Now, let's talk about the PG. PG is a personal guarantor. And you may say, well, he's talking awful fast. That's because they have me on a clock. All right. <laughs> uh, they have me on a clock now. So, you know, things are getting kind of sticky. So many people are following and grabbing this information until now they say, Dirt, Mr. Dirt, you're giving out too much information. Mr. Dirt, you need to stop. Look, I'm going to do the best I can to stay with the clock. But you guys know sometimes I'm on at three o'clock in the morning. All right. All right. So. We got to understand that we need a personal guarantor. If you screw up on your personal, you're dead in the water. If corporations screws up, you keep it because we own nothing and control everything. We control the court. We don't own a court because a corp is a person. Remember, corp is a person. So they say, who's going to pers personally guarantee we get paid back? You said, I am. So let's talk about what a, what a good FICO is. A lot of people don't get money for corporations because they don't they look at a credit score and they don't look at their fight their FICO. So let's go in and let's look at our ID. Whatever is on your ID, whatever name that's on your ID is what is what should be on your credit report. What is a credit report? Some people don't even know that. That's fine. A credit report is three bureaus. Whenever you go in, it's Equifax TransUnion Experian. Whenever you go in and try to borrow or borrow some money, they're going to report you on one of these three of these bureaus. So we want to make sure that those bureaus are reporting nicely. And we have five, five trade lines. Anything under five trade lines is a thin file. Is a thin file. All right. Secondly, if you have a name and your name is John J. Harris on your driver's license, and you then you have another name underneath that, call your J. Whatever. Those are aliases, and those are going to take you down in lending points. You only have fifty for a corporation because it's more risk. You can wiggle out of that, right? So we want to make sure we get rid of.
all except the one that is on your driver's license. Secondly, you have an you have a let's see your address on your driver's license. Some people may have two, three, four, five addresses. You haven't lived there in years. Well, guess what? You should only have one address, the one that's on your driver's license. If you have other addresses, it makes you look like you're unstable and you will go down in points. We don't have that many points to go down. So it will bring you down in points because it looks like you're unstable. Another thing is, don't go in talking about how long have you lived there? Oh, six months. Really? Why do you think they ask you that? Because they want to know, are you stable? If you put down in a, any, anything under two years, down, down. Your name, down, down. Your address, down. Less than five trade lines. And those are easy to get. You want an extra trade line, you don't have five? Go to one of the credit unions. Join the credit union and go, go in and get a, uh, a pledge loan. Put out the 5,000, 10,000, whatever you can afford, 50,000. And then when you do that, borrow against that pledge loan your own money. You're not losing it. They're going to give it to you because it's your money. And pay that off in, in three weeks. And now you're going to have a great installment line. Now let's talk about trade lines. A car, let's, let's say for instance, a credit card is your first trade line. That's going to be the smallest of them. Then a car is going to be the second, more powerful than a, than a, than a credit card. An installment line, you know, that's a line of credit or a line where you pay it down and you're done. That's going to be even better. And a house is going to be the top. Got it? So we need to understand the trade lines. So we want at least five trade lines to avoid a thin file, to avoid a thin file. Everybody got that? All right. So the next thing we want to do is let an adjustment here. Next thing we want to do is turn that up. All right. Next thing is on your, on your um, you make sure you don't want to have any derogatories, any negatives, because you're funding a corporation. If you're funding your personal, they'll just take that back. You can have a late on your personal, but they'll take that card. They'll take, take that house back or they'll write off that car. But a corporation, you can wiggle out of that. That's more risk. So we want to make sure we have one address, the one that's on there, uh, 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 no less than five trade lines. And another thing, don't have more than three inquiries. Three. Or you're going to go down, 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 down. Some people had, do you know an inquiry is five to six points off your credit? So if you're a 700 and you got uh, 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 10 inquiries, hell, you just went at what, uh, uh, 50 points, 60 points. You could have a five, you could have a, a, a 60 more points. So that they, will, they will not give you any money if you're over three inquiries. So get rid of them. You don't want to have uh, 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 derogatories or negatives or child support or, or any of those bills from the hospital. Right. So people say, well, what can I do about that? Get it off. Get it off. So go in there and get yourself. Uh, let's see. How will we do this? So we go in, we get ourselves a, uh, the, uh, a FTC report. Get your FTC report uh, uh, affidavit. Go fill out that affidavit. Look at it. Send it to all three bureaus. When you send it to all three bureaus, make sure that it's certified so you can so they can't say they didn't get it and put in there a copy of your driver's license, a copy of your social security card, a color copies, and a, and a copy of a, like a bill. Send those off to all three bureaus and say, listen, you have child support on here. I did not, when I made this baby, do anything that has to do with credit. I don't think you did anything that had to do with credit when you made that baby. I, 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 I've been through this a few times. I don't think we made a credit deal. <laughs> okay, we didn't do a credit deal, all right? So I want to make sure that you understand, get it off. That's not a credit deal. You say, oh, you know, uh, I got these hospital bills. You cannot, under the HIPAA law, you cannot uh, report anything about anybody's uh, hospital 
condition without your permission. So look, get it off of there. Get it off of there. Let's say, for instance, you have like a, a bankruptcy. Do you know federal uh, bankruptcies are federal? They do not report bankruptcies. So if you send a letter off and say, hey, listen, you know, Mr. Bankruptcy, Mrs. Bankruptcy, I saw this on my credit report. They're going to say, hey, wait a minute. You know what? I think you got a uh, misunderstanding. We do not report bankruptcies. So if you put a, a letter inside of there, that's because the, they're too cheap to send you back a letter. So you got to put your own letter in there uh, with a stamp envelope and address and everything. And they will put a letter in there, send it back to you and say, we do not report. But yet the agencies are saying they went to the original creditor. They didn't go to the original creditor because they don't report. They got that stuff usually from like Lexus, Nexus, a third party, somebody like that. So you send that in and say, hey, look, get this out of here. Get it out of there. But first, file your FTC affidavit, things that are inaccurate, file that and get those out of there and then turn around and say, you know what? After they receive it, then you call up and say, I would like to speak to someone in the fraud department. And until they say, I am a representative, a supervisor in the fraud department in the United States, you keep asking. When they transfer you, you say, are you a person in the United States? They say, yes. When you finally, when they finally say yes, then you say, I have these inquiries. I want these inquiries out of here. Because unless you got something from somebody, that inquiry should not be on your credit report. Now, sometimes you buy a car. I see people with 50, they've been shopped around, shopped around, and they keep putting them on there. Keep putting them on there. Well, you only got one car if you got any car. And all the rest of them got to go. It's taking away your credit. All right, so we want to make sure that we understand how to we get our credit together, uh, go in and, and understand the difference between FICO and credit score. You're looking for a FICO to fund this really. All right, so you're going to need to be a good personal tour. When you walk in the bank, you are considering yourself a personal guarantor, but the bank is going to look at you in the back door as being what they call a... Uh, a uh, not a personal guarantor, but the, but they call you a uh, 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 CFO. You're going to be a CFO. That's Chief Financial Officer. So remember that in the back, in the underwriter world, they're going to say they're Chief Financial Officer. Why? Because there should be three people on your corporation. Never walk around with one person on your corporation. You look silly. Imagine running around talking about uh, 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 in, the, in the restaurant. Person opens the door. He's a greeter. Run behind the counter. He's serving you. He goes in and goes up. Here, your, your, uh, your waiter will be here in a minute, sir. And then all of a sudden, you sit down. You, you, you sit them down. And here you come back with the thing over your talking about. I'll be your waiter today. You're everything. So you should never be one person on a corporation. Now, the state doesn't mind because they'll give you any damn thing. They don't care. You can have one person, but you, that one person must represent all three areas. As an officer, you have to have three people on the court. Okay? So don't fall for the hype. Go in and get yourself three people. President, vice president, who takes over when the president is not there, and then get yourself what they call a, a, a secretary. Those three people are your general. So you don't look like a rookie because when you walk in to the bank, they're going to say, this person is a rookie. This person does not speak Latin. And all money is in Latin. All money is in Latin. Look at the dollar bill. What does it say? It says, e pluribus unum. What does that mean? That means out of one comes many. Now, don't you want one many out of one dollar? <laughs> all right. So. So everything is in Latin. That's because when they started this in Rome, they spoke Latin. Okay? So we want to understand how this game works. So we don't want to walk in the bank with underwriters who understand Latin, and they can name that tune in one note. He's got one person on his court. He don't speak Latin. And more risk. Look like he's trying to run the whole place with one person. 
that looks kind of stupid. So those of you, I don't know who you are. I'm not calling you stupid. I'm saying do not walk in there with one person on your court. Change that and add two people to your corporation, okay? So that we can get money to do business and not do business and work our behind off every day to get some money. The bank is a lending institution. The bank is not a hold my money institution. People walk up every day on Friday, put their money in the bank, and they get nothing for it. And then the rich people, they don't walk in and crowd it because they work for themselves. So they walk in on Wednesday at you know, 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock, and they say, hey, may I help you, Mr. Whitehead? And they laugh every time. I say, come here for a second. They start laughing. Yes, Mr. Whitehead. I said, come here, come here, come here a second. They know what I'm going to say because they know I say it all the time. I say, listen, listen, come closer. Yes? I say, um, um, those people that put that money in on Friday from get paychecks? Yes, Mr. Whitehead. I want to know, can I get that money out that they put in and start me a big company and then hire them to work for me and pay them with their own money? Can I do that? And they say, yes, Mr. Whitehead. I said, well, that's what I want to do. I want to borrow and make you nine times richer. And I want you to give me a thousand and you're going to be 10 times richer. I want you to give me a million and you're going to have 10 million. So why are we running around looking for Section 8, government cheese, free health care, Going to work for somebody every damn day when all we got to do instead of going to the liquor store after work and saying, I need to calm down, bring this down a little bit. Go to the bank first and get some money and then do business with the corporation, get money and do business and sit back and then go to the liquor store get a bottle of wine if you want to. <laughs> okay. There's no need. Go to the bank with Willie. Get some money. You got a liquor store on every corner, a bank on every corner. Why are we putting our money in the bank instead of understanding the bank is a lending institution? If you don't believe me, call the bank and ask them and see if they might hang up in your face thinking that you're fooling with them. Are you, in, are you a lending institution? They go, oh, you're, oh they go, you clown and click. <laughs> It's not a hold your money institution, but the 85% put their money in like it's a hold my money institution and they give you nothing for it. But the bank is your friend. It's the best friend I ever had because when I needed that $150,000, the bank gave it to me. My friend said, I'm not liquid, man, at this time. I got 150,000 from the bank. Did what I want to do. That was my best friend. Okay, so we got to understand that the corporation is a person. Next slide. And we want to fund the corporation, so we want to have a good FICO, not a good credit score, a FICO. We take that FICO and we fund the corporation. We PG for the corporation, personal guarantor. Okay, now let's go on to the next phase. We are 360 CEOs out of Derek Whitehead. We're not brokers, we're not finders, we're not attorneys, we are consultants. And if we believe that everybody on here is a friend, which I truly do, we can give this information freely. And this is our point of view. If you're looking for a tax person, you're looking for a finder, a broker, or any of those people, please consult those people. We're consultants giving you the information from our perspective. So now that I believe everybody on here is a friend, we will. Hear. All right. So step two, the corporation. Right. So first of all, we want to understand the difference between an LLC, an S Corp, a C Corp, a, a, a nonprofit and a foundation. Those are your basic five corporations. Thank you. Thank you, Pierre Davis. Thank you. I appreciate you, too. Thank you so much. Thank you for all the love, by the way, everybody out there. I see all the love. Thank you so much. 
that makes me want to come on here every week and, and talk all night long until I can't talk. <laughs> okay. All right, so we want to understand the five basic corporations. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tommy. So we want to understand the five corporations. It is very important that you understand the five corporations. They're not going to teach you this on the internet. They're going to talk about, oh, I can help you with your credit. Oh, I can help you with your credit card stacking. Oh, I can help you get a corporation. But nobody on there is going to teach you from A to Z. That's why we call 360 CEOs Alpha Incorporated. 360 CEOs, our website is Alpha Incorporated. Uh, I'm sorry, economicmasonry.com. And when you guys look at economicmasonry.com, you can come out of here on this uh, live. Those of you that are on Instagram, TikTok, and all this and that, we got probably got over two, four, six, eight. Almost a thousand people on here, 213, 200, 200, 200, so 135. So you can go to economicmasonry.com and you can log in and see what people are seeing here. And we're going to have questions and answers. Yes, I'm going to answer as much as I can your questions. Free. All that stuff that you see on the internet, all those videos that are two minutes, I can't teach you. Some people say, Hey, Mr. White, so, uh, you know, uh, how, what, what you talking about? That's only two minutes. If I, I can't teach you 30 years of knowledge in two minutes. Okay, so that's why we're here. We're on here. Now, remember, we're going to be in Florida. We just left the Post Oak. We do a, a live uh, seminar. We were at the Post Oak. We were in Atlanta. It was wonderful. It was Rolls Royces. It was beautiful. Everybody was out there in the chandelier and the Post Oak, right? Uh, it was great, but we only had one place an hour and a half. The next place, I said, we got, we need more time. So they, so they gave us two and a half hours. Now I'm saying it's not enough time. Even this isn't enough time because I want you to be smarter than everybody on that damn internet and know how to go in and teach your children. If you don't teach your children this, you're failing them. They should teach us this in grammar school. They should teach us this in high school. We need, we need to know money like we need the food. You can't get food without money. So, oh, somebody asked, what is the website again? It's uh, economicmasonry.com, economicmasonry.com. So we're going to be in Florida, uh, January for March, I believe, beginning of March. And uh, this time, we're going to have a three-day I'm going to teach along with others I'm going to bring on real estate. I've managed $20.2 billion under management in real estate. Okay? My company's Crane Lily. And so uh, we're going to teach Scratch Pub Co. We're going to teach real estate. We're going to have people there. If you have $10 million, $5 million, you can socialize people. And these people, we're going to have Kyle and Sean there who's going to talk about taking companies public. Man, we're going to teach, teach, teach. We're going to have a whole day. And the next day, we're going to have a breakout where everybody comes together. And we're going to go in and take question and answers all day and teach, teach all day. Two days. And the third day, those are we're going to have a yacht. And everybody's going to hop on the yacht. We're going to have a good time. And the VIPs go up at the top. And we start talking about how to raise those funds and getting that money at another level. So nobody's going to teach you this on the Internet. So if you want to come out there, look at economicmasonry.com and look when we're going to have that. We're going to be probably in your city soon because uh, it's getting a little difficult for me to, to teach, 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 and, uh, and uh, just on the Internet. It's getting a little more difficult. So I'm going to do this as long as I can, as strong as I can. And sometimes the technical difficulties, I don't know what that's all about. But we're going to keep on keeping on and keep on teaching. All right. So and remember, this is free, free. All right. So come on out to the uh, 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 seminar. We're going to have a great time and teach, teach, teach. So now let's get into the five corporations. We want to understand an LLC, S Corp, C Corp, nonprofit and foundation. Right. Let's talk about number one. 
The LLC. You, girl, you got your LLC? Because I've been had my LLC. I have my, when you get your LLC, I got my, let us help you get your LLC today only a few clicks away. LLC. Banks do not give money to LLCs. Listen to what it says. It says limited liability. If you are a bank, would you want to give your money to somebody that says, I'm limited and I got liability? So you're some guy talking to a lady at the gas station. You pumped up gas. You sit and talk to her. You know, you know what? We've been talking for like a while. Maybe we should share, you know, maybe we should share phone numbers. Okay. She pull her phone number out. Pull her phone out. What's your number? He says, well, I want to be straight up with you now. Before we get into that, I'm a straight, straight shooter. I want to, tell, want to let you know, okay, what? I'm limited. You what? She going to look at you like, what you mean you limited? Right? <laughs> she going to look at you like this. What you mean you limited? Right? Then you're going to say, now hold on. I want to let you know the rest. Okay, what? You know how they are, right? Tell me anything, right? <laughs> so you're going to say, so he going to say, and I got liability too. She going to look at you like, what? What you have? The police after you? What the hell are you talking about? She going to say, you know, I forgot I'm going to pick up my sister. I got to go. He's going to be like, well, wait a minute. What about the phone number? She going to say, you around here, right? You, I, I'll see you around. I'll see you around. I'll see you around. I'll see you. She's going to be gone. That's what the bank looks at you as. When you walk in with your LLC, I got my LLC. If you want money, you get the corporation to get money. You don't, to, so you get money to do business. You do not do business to get money and work and work and work and work. That's for the 85% who don't understand this game. And they're not meant for you to learn this game. So who get you this on the internet for free until three o'clock in the morning sometimes? Nobody, nobody, <laughs> all right? But I am attempting to teach you this. So let's get into it. LLC, limited liability. That's the wrong sick code. If you want to go in and not get any money, have the wrong sick code. Number two, you want to go in and not get any money, have the wrong name. So your corporation should never have a specific name. Like you're saying, uh, uh, ABC Trucking, ABC Real Estate, XYZ, something you don't like. You want to not get some money, have the wrong name. If you ever notice, you ever notice that Big companies like Walmart. Walmart does not mean cheap clothes. Did you ever notice that? Walmart don't mean cheap clothes. Did you ever notice that uh, 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 Starbucks does not mean coffee? Did you ever notice that? Did you ever notice that uh, 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 Apple does not mean computers? So go in. If you don't want no money, have the wrong have the wrong name. You should name your corporation something that is broad, that doesn't mean anything. ABC Blackfoot, ABC Sunny, Zenith Corporation. Something that doesn't, so you don't lock yourself into the wrong sick code. Keep it very broad. Do like the big companies do, okay? But nobody's going to teach you that on the internet. It's these little things, these, these little nuances that keep you from getting money. This needs to stop. We got to stop this. We're in the greatest country in the world. Why are people hungry? I need Section 8. If you got a million dollars, how come you can't go in and get $50 million? They should teach you this so that you can go in and spend more money and make this country bigger and greater. Make sense? I'm an economist. That's the way I think. So 
The second thing, if you don't want money, you don't want money, go in with the wrong information when you get your EIN number. So you say, oh, Mr. Whitehead taught me not to have, to have a broad name and have something like that doesn't mean anything, right? Like, uh, uh, um, what's the name of some other companies? Like, uh, like Zenith, uh, you know, uh, uh, Qualcomm. What does that mean? AT and T. What does that mean? Sprint doesn't mean anything. So now you want to go Amazon. That don't mean anything except big. Now, good thing you mentioned that. I like you mentioned that, Yusha. I like that you mentioned that because guess what? If you really want to get in the mix, I told you everything is Latin, right? Do you know that the United States appoints judges? They appoint judges. And the judge sits on the bench, right? The corporation appointed a judge. The judge sits on a bench. All rise, all sit down. But do you know what bench means in Latin? Look it up. In Latin, bench means bank. So you see all this backdoor stuff going on that we're not understanding, right? So we want to make sure that we are dealing with the bank, <laughs> right? So if you go in, and you have an EIN number, you apply for an EIN number, and the EIN number says, they, when you're applying for your taxes, get your EIN number from the government, they say, what are you doing? When you tell them, I'm doing, you say, well, my company is ABC, doesn't mean anything, then you go in and get an EIN number and say, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing uh, construction. Really? Really? No, you go, you go in and do that and see if you get any money. Wrong sit code. Hey, keep it consistent. Basic information, ABC Incorporated, get your EIN number, and that's going to be, you know, uh, consulting or things that they like. That's why I told you in the beginning, go in and look at SIC codes, SIC codes that, that banks like on Google, and then look at SIC codes that banks do not like. And don't get the ones that banks don't like. Do yourself a favor. Okay? <laughs> All right. So now, the next thing. You don't want money? Go get yourself your LLC. Let's see if you go and get the money. Right? So make sure that when you go in, three things you avoid. Name your corporation, some specific name. Second thing, going to get your EIN number. You need your corporation is a person. Some people may have never seen a corporation. So the corporation is a person. If you want to get money, you're going to have a corporation is going to have when you like if the police pull your driver's license, they say, hey, uh, I'm going to run your driver's license, see if you're in trouble, if you're in good standing. Right. No warrants, nothing. Guess what? This is what they're going to pull on the court. It's a person. Everything you have, it has to have. So they're going to say, hey, right here is a good standing letter. Good standing letter. See that with the seal on it? Good standing certificate. That means you are in good standing. They have run you and you're not in bad shape. So another thing I want you to know is, is people are going out trying to get money from the bank. And they got their corporation. Then they walk in and they say, why didn't I get approved? Because they don't know these things that I'm telling you. Another thing I want to show you here is see right here. See that date on that corporation? See that date? See that date? I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can pull my picture up so you can so I can tell if you can see this. Let's see. If anybody can't see this, let me know. All right. Let's see. All right. So see that date? 
I don't know if anybody can see that date. If you walk into the bank, you can't see that. Can anybody see that? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see if you can see this. Let's see. All right, let's see. Now, can everybody see that? See that date? Here's the date. Some people walk into the, uh, the bank and they're trying to get money, right? So now, when you walk into the bank, if your corporation is older than six months old, and you walk into the bank and your good standing letter says you are seven months old, eight months old, a year, a year, two years, three years, whatever. And you don't have an updated good standing letter. You're not going to get the money. Because you should have a updated good standing letter. Your good standing letter should never be older than such. Okay, I taught some of these guys, I know. So now, if you are older than six months and you attempt to get some money from the bank, I want you to go to the Secretary of State and, and talk to them, call them up. They're very nice because corporations run the world. So they're very nice to you. And you say, listen, I would like to get a updated good standing letter. They will guide you through and send you one and tell them I want you I want to get it right now off the internet now you have an updated good standing letter so if you don't these are some of the things why people don't get money so now that we understand corporation is a person this is a good standing letter the next thing is is you have you have a uh, a birth certificate these are called articles of incorporation. Articles, articles. So these articles of incorporation, it's this birth certificate. It says, this is my name, this is who I am, this is where I was born, and I will abide by the laws of the state and this and that and that and this, okay? Articles of incorporation. The next thing after you get this, you're gonna to wanna to get yourself an EIN number so that you can open a bank account. You need an EIN number, good standing letter, and articles of incorporation, right? Now, they will open your bank account if you are older than six months or eight months old on your good standing. Long as it's good standing, they don't care if you're 20 years old. But when you go to go get some money, they're not gonna tell you, oh, your good standing letter is older than six months. They're just going to deny you. It's going to deny you. So the corporation has to have a good standing letter, articles of incorporation, and an EIN number in order for you to get a EIN number to, to get a bank account. Now, when you get the bank account, then you have to have other things. A corporation is a person. Everything you have, it needs. So you need to have a website. Who has no website today in 2024? This is not 1974. This is 2024. That's how people are online today, selling everything online. So why do you think Amazon is so popular and so rich? Because they went from books, selling books, to online selling products online. So if the bank sees you don't have a website, you're not getting it. You're going to be very low in money. Now, the next thing is you need to have an age website. You're going to say, you know what? First of all, the corporation should never be younger than three years old, two and a half tax years. Now, I tell people this. I say, listen, they say, uh, Mr. Whitehead, they come back and say, you know what? 
I um uh, and say, Mr. Whitehead, I uh I went into the bank and and I got a two year old corporation. I didn't get any money. I said, Sir, I said to him, I said, I didn't say two years. I said two tax years. Now, what is a tax year? A tax year is is from January to April, not January to December. December, January to April. So that is two of those. So that's one year, four months, and one year, four months. That is two two years, eight months. So you might as well round it off to three years old. Three years old. So you want money from the bank? Don't walk in there with a, with a company less than three years old because they're going to consider you a baby. They say you're a rookie. We don't lend money to rookies. Right? So nobody's going to tell you this on the internet because the people on the internet, most of them, they, their internet, you know, uh, uh, learn from the internet. What they're doing is I learned from the internet. Now I'm going to all the seminars. Now I got all this information and now I'm a guru. So internet guru. So they go in and say, Oh, you know, I'm a guru. Let me, let me lay some, let me lay some knowledge on you. Well, I'm not that. I'm a guy with 30 years of knowledge before they had the computer out. It, nobody had computers. We had to read. We had to, I'm a practitioner. So I'm here to tell you, make sure that your corporation has a website and an age website. It's because banks don't lend to rookies. So if you walk in there, you bet the same way that you get a new corporation and, not, and wait around three years for you to get some money, because remember, we get money to do business. We don't do business to get money. Right? We get money. We use this as an excuse to get the money. Now, guess what? If you walk in there with a, the same way you can buy a new corporation, you can buy an old one. People who have the knowledge, they know I want some money. I want 100, 200, 300, 400, 500,000 dollars seed money. After you get the seed money, you build your corporation up, and now you have a good foundation. If you build a house on six inches of concrete, one story, oh, honey, let's, he says, honey, let's build a second story. She says, no, baby, we can't. I say, why not, baby? Why? Because we should have built it on 12 inches of concrete. It won't hold two stories. It will not hold two stories. You should have built it on 12 inches, not six. You want to put everybody out there. Don't you want the Empire State Building? Don't you want the Eiffel Tower? So that requires 40 feet of, co of, of concrete. And that is going to be your C corporation. Now, we're going to get into that in a second. If you have a corporation that is new, why would you wait around three years? Why don't you go and get yourself a seasoned age shelf court? Season and age means the same thing. And shelf means some lawyer or somebody put it on the shelf and let it age to three years and then sell it to you. So why would you wait around? But you may not have known about it. If you did, then why would you sit and be sitting around and, and getting that money from the bank? <laughs> right? So I'm here to tell you that you can get season and age shelf corporations just do your research. Now, people say, well, is that legal, Mr. Whitehead? Of course it is. Don't people, don't people buy restaurants, old companies every day? Don't they buy, you know, uh, car dealerships that have been in existence? It's, you're buying a business. So there's a company on there. Now, I want to also let you know that if you go in and get a season age shelf corp, never get a season age shelf corp with that already has an EIN number. Get your own EIN number, because if you do, it could have bad credit. They could have used that to go get some, some, some credit cards. The credit cards went bad, and now you bought that company for nothing. You can't get any money. That defeats the purpose, right? I got me. I got me a 10-year-old court. Well, guess what? If you go under three years, and you, or you go over nine, eight, nine years, you are now an old person. Now you're trying to go stated, right? And 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 a stated and no doc. You're just going to be the PG to get the money, right? The starter capital. 
guess what? If you walk in there being an old person, that's like dog age for a corporation. The bank is going to say, wait a minute, you 10, 11, 12 years old? Why don't you have taxes? Why don't you have 4506Ts? Tax? Why don't you have financials? Why don't you, you don't have a car? You don't have credit cards? Nothing? They're going to say, nah, uh -uh, no, thank you. You're too old. You don't have nothing. That means you've been doing nothing. Why would we give out you our money so you can continue to do nothing? So you never go in with a corporation that is under that is under three years, two tax years, or that is older than eight, nine years old. Because you're not going to get the money. And they're not going to teach you this on the internet. You have to be a banker. Now, the other thing is, when you go in and you get this corporation, right? <laughs> so now somebody said, what, what were you thinking? <laughs> exactly. So now, uh, when you go in and uh, you want to make sure that you get yourself a season eight shelf court or you don't or you won't get any money. Simple as that. Right. Or you have to wait three years if you want to get some decent money. So go to get yourself a season eight shelf corp. They got a place out here that's called uh, Wholesale Shelf Corps. You can go to Wholesale. They're like the second largest shelf corp seller in the country. And they fly off the because people who know, they know and they buy them. And man, they sell like a five year old corp. Guess what? That corp, that corp is like uh, $14,000. Do you know they can't keep those corps? Because rich people or people who have the knowledge, they say, man, give me one. Man, I will borrow 14000 to go get a corporation right now and go PG it and get myself 50000 100000 200000 300000 Who wouldn't do that? Who wouldn't do that? I mean, listen, you go in and pay fourteen grand, and somebody will give you back fifty or a hundred. Or 200, 300? Really? I do that all day long. And so that's why they don't keep them things on the shelf. But the thing I want to explain to you is I want you to be smarter than everybody out there on the internet, right? So if you go in and you get a CA shelf court, a lot of things that you're, one thing you're missing is that I'm a banker. Sometimes the bank knows how to go in and see if you bought that corp online. That's called, they, they have what they call a season eight shelf unpublished. So I want you to make sure you get in the unpublished because if you go online and you pick a corporation offline, the bank can go in and look at a special algorithm and see this corp was sold online. You said you had it five years. Here it is right here online. You're going to look like a liar and they may red flag you. That means you will not get credit from anywhere who knows how long. They don't tell you. I trained these guys, some of these guys. <laughs> okay, so we want to make sure we're smarter than the people on the internet. So if you go and get a corporation, you make sure you get it unpublished. Published means it's sold on the internet. So they need to send you through on your to your email a list. And you pick out the off the list, and then you pick one out, and it's never put online. So now the bank will go in out of a hundred corporations. They have what they call like uh, uh, maybe three out of five. They will pick and do what they call desktop funding. Three out of five desktop. That means they will go in, and a real person, not AI will give you the money, a real person is going to look at your corporation. Desktop and three out of five, a lot of times, three out of five, they will say, let's look online. Let's look and see if your address, right, right is, is a real address. They will look online and this court was sold online. So do you want to be 100, two or three people? who they saw that was online and you get no money. They don't want you to know their algorithm, so they will pull out a certain amount of corpse and do desktop funding. They're not going to tell you this on the internet because you'd have to be a banker. Right? So now, 
We also want to make sure that we avoid these scammers, the scammers. So let me tell you something. There's about 30 people right now who are acting like they're me. So be aware of these people on the internet acting like they're me. If you see them and you know they're not me, report them because they're scamming people. I would never ask you for money on the internet, online talking about give me money for Bitcoin, give me money for insurance. I wouldn't do that. So make sure when you deal, you think it's me, it's me, right? So now what I want you to be aware of is the scammers who sell you age corporations because they know how much money these corporations can get you, right? So what I want you to do is I want you to understand these people will go in, one of the ways they do it, they'll go in, let's say like, uh, they'll go into a state like Wyoming or wherever it's cheap. And once they go into Wyoming or wherever it's cheap or Delaware or, or uh, Georgia, whatever cheap state, $50 a month, maybe the person didn't pay for their corporation because they had Corona or something. So the corporation went inactive, right? Remember the good standing letter? That means it is active and it is in good standing. So they will go in to the Secretary of State and then go in and pick out corporations that are uh, in, in non-active and click that button and it will pull up all the companies that are not active and they pick out one, the name they like, because they don't know enough to not, have a, 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 to not have a name that means anything, right? So, but they will pick them out and they'll pay $200, $300. And then the state, they'll take it and hijack it and make it their court and sell it to you for $14,000. And people will buy it because they know what a season eight shelf court will get them. So people buying them like crazy, but they don't know how to buy them the right way. So what they do is they sell it to you. Now, this court belongs to somebody else that somebody else did not sell you that court. So you're hijacking somebody else's court. See, it's big business, scamming. So now the corporation, you go make $10 million and then somebody pops up later on saying, hey, you know, uh, that's my court. And you're saying, you know, what do you mean that's my court? You say, oh, but I had Corona or whatever. Now you took my court. So I didn't take it, I bought this guy online. They go to court. And the judge says, well, that's their court. Court, they didn't sell that to you. So all the money that you made belongs to them. <laughs> right? So you're sitting there like, ah, no. Yes. Okay? So be aware of the scam. People today are learning that this season age shelf court is bringing enormous amounts of money. And you ain't got to wait around to go get it if you understand how to Maneuver, be the good PG, get your corporation built right, go in the bank, use this to get some money, and then take the money and do some damn business. All right? So, next thing I want you to know is, is the corporation is a person. The corp is a person. So, everything you have, it has to have. You can't go in the bank talking about, I'm doing business out my home. No. Because the bank said, wait a minute. What's your address? 145 Main Street. They say, what's the corporation's address? 145 Main Street. I say, wait a minute. That sounds a lot like your address. That's like your poor cousin living on your couch. So you have to have its own address, right? So the, the corporation has its own address, but don't go in there and say, uh, uh, I'm using a UPS store. A real address. Because what do you care? You're going to get a real address so you get one, two, three, four, five hundred thousand dollars from the bank. Really? I get I get an address, <laughs> right? Because we don't want to go down, 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 right? We only have fifty points to go down. Next thing is the bank says, "What's your phone number?" Well, my phone number is seven 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 ninety three eleven. Oh, what's the corporation's phone number? Seven 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 nine three eleven. That sounds a lot like your phone number. So you can't be doing business with your own phone and your own address because that's your cousin using your phone and living in on your couch. Make sense? So we don't want 
to have our, we want to have a, our own uh, a phone number and not a landline, not a landline. Okay, and not voice over IP, a real landline. Now, I told you this company, next thing is you want to make sure you go in and have a, and have a, a, an age website. You got this old <laughs> Morris Day. <laughs> Seven 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 nine to three eleven. <laughs> that sounds a lot like yo. <laughs> so, so my point is. <laughs> all right. So my point is, is that uh, we want to make sure that Corp has everything you have. So you have your own uh, website. Now you cannot go and talk about I got a five year corporation because I'm gonna go get this money and a brand new website. Does that make sense? So you need an age website, right? You know, <laughs> the time, right? <laughs> so you need an age website. Make sense? Now, a lot of people go in there and you know you need 40 hits. 40 hits on your website. That means they want to see that at least 40 people looked at your website. How you get your business? So go in and hit your website 40 times, right? Do, 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 in, out, in, out, hit it 50, 60 times. Now they will say, oh, he's got 60 hits, check. He's got a website, check. Oh, it's, they look on something called who is, and they can see how old your corp is, how old your website is, and an age domain name. Who's gonna teach you this on the internet for free? Nobody. Now, they if you want to go in and get yourself some money fast, guess what? Go in and get yourself a season eight shelf corporation. They sell these things for like 14000 but people pay them like it's nothing. They borrow to get the money. I'm going to get 50, bro, I'm going to pay you back. I'm going to get 50000 100000 200000 That's why they do that. But we wouldn't dare sell a corporation for $14,000, five-year-old corporation. Uh, that's uh, we sell them also, but you don't need us. But if you want to uh, purchase one from us, you know, go in and, and to uh, economicmasonry.com and, and, and see somebody about it, and you can get a corporation uh, nowhere near that price. Um, and season age shelf unpublished, we do so. You don't need us. I'm telling you what you need and what to avoid, and to go in, and you can go get these yourself. If you go in and you teach your children and you succeed, that's good enough for me. All right. So the next thing is a corporation is not to do business. It is to get money. We get this to go get money. It's a special purpose entity or a special purpose vehicle. Nobody's going to teach you that on the Internet because most of them are not bankers, high finance bankers. OK, next thing is structure your company the right way. So now let's get into this proper structure. Rolling on down the line. So what we want to do is something that's called the upside down T and the seven. That is the correct structure for your company. So we're going to do the upside down T. All right, that's the upside down T. Well, it's more like that. <laughs> All right. Now, what that means is, is that the upside down T is that when you go and you have capital gains tax, that's 37, almost 40 percent in taxes. Right. I don't have an Uncle Sammy. I don't have an uncle of Sammy. Right. My uncle name is Victor. And the other one that passed away is Raymond. So I, I don't have an Uncle Sammy. So I'm not I don't want to pay 37, almost 40 percent. In tax. So the upside down T is when you put the money back into the business, you control everything. This is the corporation's watch. This is the corporation's suit. This is the corporation's houses. Right. This is the damn corporation's chair. <laughs> All right. So we control everything and own nothing. Oprah lives in a 40, a $50 million home. That home more likely doesn't belong to her. That belongs to her corporation. That's what the company is worth. 
She doesn't have that money in her in her closet. It won't fit. Bezos, a hundred billion with Amazon. That's what the corporation is worth because he understands how to build it from nothing to something big and he controls it, but he's not in the mix. That's what we're trying to do, right? So it's what you're worth, not how much money you have. So if you got a million dollars in cash, the bank really don't care nothing about no million dollars pretty much. They're like, look, money comes and goes. You can spend that tomorrow. But if you got a corporation, one person doing the same thing you're doing, you're worth it. You got a million dollars in cash. You're just a good salesperson. Now you got to go out and sell some more. But this person over here is worth five million and you only have a million in cash. That's because their corporation has value. So in your corporation, in the articles, I want you to look at in the articles, what are your shares? What is the share value? It's about the value of your company and the proper structure. All right. So we want to go into your corporation and look and see your corporation. When you first buy it, it's going to say that you have zero par value, zero par value. And you may have 10,000 shares. You may have a hundred thousand shares. You may have a million shares. The shares represent the money or the items that the corporation owns. So it has shares. Now, if the question is already, uh, you know, let's say if you have 10,000 shares and whatever you ask them for, you can always ask them for more shares, right? So if you got 10,000 shares at zero par value, you make value by getting credit cards, uh, being able to get loans, annualized loans, um, uh, 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 merchant account loans, letters of credit, all these things that you can get in a corporation but you can't get that in your personal. So that's why one person can have a million dollars or another, the corporation is being built, built, built. I'll tell you something. If you say, I'm gonna go put uh, Bitcoin, I have nothing against Bitcoin, but any investment, can you really say that you will have one, two, three, four, five hundred thousand dollars in six months? Can you really say that? In Bitcoin, in any investment, you can't say that, but I can pretty much tell you that with a corporation, PG, corporation is used to get money. You can have one, two, three, four, five hundred thousand dollars in three months, six months. You can't do that with investments. And if you keep building it and doing it right, then you can go back and get more money and get more money. Which one do you want? You want to take the red pill or the blue pill? I'm trying to give you the red pill. Open up wide, swallow the red pill, and erase all that stuff that you've been thinking, why you don't have any money. I want you to take a take a out the back of your head from the matrix, like unplug and say, and wake up, right? The money is free. Oh, oh I'm on the Nebuchadnezzar. Oh no, Morpheus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, that's crazy. Huh? <laughs> I want you to learn the power of corporations. The power of the corporation. So I want you to go in and make sure that you look and see how many shares you have. Okay, if you have... <laughs> right. So if you go in and you have 10,000 shares, Right, a hundred thousand shares. That means if you have if you have four people on the corporation that are equal shareholders, right? Then that means one person has 25,000, 25, 25, and 25. So if you have four trucks worth a million dollars, one person decides to leave the corporation, he gives you back his shares, and you give him his truck or his or whatever the truck is worth because you're equal partners. If you have two people in a corporation, you got 10,000 shares. Guess what? You go in and say, we have $10 million. We are equal partners, two of us. 
I get 50 shares out of out of uh, 100 shares and you get 50. That means we are equal owners in the assets in the company. So the problem is those of you that have corporations, nobody taught you that you need to issue shares to yourself. Nobody told you you need to issue shares to yourself. These, this is a person. These shares belong to it, and all the money and everything else belongs to it. So in 150 years, you go to your angels, and you say, my kids are going to get all this money. No, they're not, because you never issued any shares. All the money belongs to the corporation. Your kids are going to have a hard time trying to get that money. So nobody's teaching you on the internet, go issue yourself some shares. Issue yourself shares. And that is called a corporate resolution. Everybody got that written down? Corporate resolution. So you need to write down on a letter that says corporate resolution. We, uh, we all three, three people on the corporation, not one, you look silly, all three officers are here, one is on the phone and two are here or three are all present. And we are here to talk about issuing shares to the shareholders. And then we say that the minute started, the meeting or minutes started at 11 o'clock or whenever it started and it is now ended. We are now uh, voted and we shall now issue shares and have that notarized and stamp, right, with your corporate stamp. Nobody gets the, the corporation book. It's $125. In the corporate book or stock, in the stock, you can give your stock to an investor and get a million dollars, $5 million, $10 million. Did you know that? My buddy told me, Kyle Freeman, who teaches this in our seminar, he says, you know, Derek, uh, that's like a license to print money almost. But nobody teaches you that. Get the book. Find out how many shares you have. Make a resolution and issue it. For those of you who already got funded, I want you to know before you go get credit cards, before you get a car in the court, before you do anything, you have to ask the corporation. It's a person. You can't go get a bank account in my name without asking me. You cannot go and get credit cards in my name without asking me. So you need a resolution for everything you do. So those of you that have gone out and got a card, corporate cards, corporate credit, a bank account, and never asked the court or had a meeting or a resolution on it, you are breaking the law. You are breaking the law. So you need to write a resolution now and you can't have it notarized, it's too late, but at least you will have it in your books where you voted on it. But if you don't, haven't gotten a corporation or anything you do going forth, get a resolution, say we are voting now to go and in the interest of the court, we're going to now go get a corporate, or get, go, go get a, uh, corporate credit cards or go get a corporate house or whatever, corporate whatever. Vote on it. We have voted. Now we shall move forward in the best interest of the corporation, right? And go get that corporate card. Go get that corporate bank account or get whatever. Then have it notarized and the meeting ended, started and ended. Put it in your book of minutes. Now you're straight. Make sense? All right, so we're Alpha Incorporated 360 CEOs. We're not brokers, we're not finders, we're not attorneys. Uh, we are consultants. We're here to give you the information from our perspective. If you are looking for any of those people that I've just mentioned, please consult those people. We are not. We are not brokers, we're not finders, we are not funders. We would send you to affiliates that we know that we believe we can do a good job, but we cannot. We are not funders, we're not brokers. We're none of those. We are consultants, and I'm here to give you this information 
from my perspective freely if I believe everyone out there is a friend. So I believe everyone out there is a friend, so I shall proceed to give you this information so that you can understand from our perspective. So in saying that, we're Alpha Incorporated 360 CEOs. You can go to economicmasonry.com and we're gonna have question and answers. So this is live, this is not your regular webinar, okay? I'm here to teach the best I can. Now, what we wanna understand is that the corp is a person, the corp is a special purpose entity or a special purpose vehicle. It is used to get money. For 2,000 years in Rome, they've, do, they've been doing this. Getting it from a synagogue, now you're getting it from the bank, right? <laughs> All right, so now, the proper corporate structure, upside down T, number one. We wanna make sure we go in, put the money back into the business and it grows wide, thus earning more capital going up. Put the money back in again. Every time you get any money, put it back into the business. The business owns everything, but we own the shares. So if something that happens to the business, we just transfer the shares, we, we own the shares, so they can take whatever suit of business or whatever, but they're not getting any of the assets. That's why I said, oh no, Willie messed up. Bye, Willie. I own all the assets. So imagine if you go out and you get a car with a resolution first to go and ask that corp, right? You go out, do you know the corporation gives you much higher credit limits than a person? Because the, the people are cattle, pretty much. The corporation is a entity. It's a part of the whole game. So they will give it much higher limits. So if you got 50, 50, 50, three credit cards with, with uh, let's say, uh, 50,000 limit, $1,000 limits, three credit cards, and some of those cards have no interest, no interest rate for like two years. So you go out and buy a car. If you screw up, Repo man, if you buy a house, here comes the judge. Oh, the house is gone, taking the house back. But what if you were to take that, those three cards and say, we have decided we want to get a Mercedes in the best interest for the corporation. Now we will go and get the, because we do good business, we have to represent ourselves, right? So now we have voted. We will shall now, now go to the Mercedes Benz dealer. You take the money off the cards, with a merchant account, never your own merchant account, or they will shut your account and your card down. Take it off a merchant account, take the money, take that cashier's check and walk in the dealership and say, I want that S550. How much is that? 135,000. Black cards, right? So you walk in and say, guess what? Now you drive off the lot. They're going to send, first of all, no interest. And then they're going to send the title to Willie. Willie owns the car. They can never take it back. So if something happens to Willie, what do you do? You just transfer the title over to Leroy. Over to Leroy. And now Leroy is richer than Willie was because Leroy has an asset already that's paid for. They're going to go after the court for the car. So why are we playing around? Why are we running around here looking for, for, for government cheese and Section 8 and people living under, under bridges? We have to stop. We have to stop. Somebody has to teach. So now... That's the upside down T. You avoid a lot of capital gains tax. I'm not saying to avoid taxes. We don't want to do that because the more taxes you pay, the more of a benefit they give you a receipt, and now you can borrow more money from the bank. So why are people saying, this is a cash business? <laughs> I don't pay taxes. Why wouldn't you pay taxes when they're going to give you a tax sheet, 4506T, and take that to the bank? They're going to say, oh, full doc? How much money you want? Here's some money. That's how this game works. Scratch my back, pay your tax. I'll scratch yours and give you a document that says, here's your tax receipt. Go to the bank, structure it right, go get some money.
You can grow a business a lot faster getting value and credit and money from the bank than you can selling anything. You got to wait around for people to buy your stuff. You don't wait around. You take action and walk into the bank and get your money. So which one do you want to do? <laughs> which one do you want to work, red pill or blue pill? Which one do you want to do? You want to go in there? Oh, I got a shoe company, right? Okay, sit around and wait for you to buy your shoes. You make, uh, you make uh, uh, $200,000 in a shoe company a year? When I can walk in the bank in three months and have $200,000? Really? Okay, so the next thing is, is your seven. Seven structure. Let's go over the seven structure. Seven structure is going to be like this. Let's get rid of this. So your seven, I guess, would be this way. Down. So that's going to be your, your trust, right? And that's going to be your C court, and it's going to be your holding court, and then it's going to be your D, B, A's, on and on and on, right? So that's your structure. Let's see if I can find, uh, if everybody can see that. That's your seven structure. So this is going to be your C corp, your holding corp, and then your trust. And then down back to your C is going to be down your DBAs, doing business as. So if you already have LLC, by Linda Limited Liability Corporations, right? So what you're going to do is, is not waste it. You're going to take it and put it underneath your mama court, the C court, you're going to put it underneath that. Now, why would you do that? Because if your LLC is worth $50,000, then guess what? When you put it underneath the mama, the mama is going to be worth $50,000 and the baby. So now you're worth $100,000. Remember I said, it's not what you have. It's what the company is worth. So now you're not zero par value. You're, you're par value at 100000 plus the credit cards you get, plus the cars that you get, plus what the buildings that you get, plus whatever business you're doing. You're building value, 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 value. The corp is getting extraordinarily large. So I want you to go over now the LLC, the S Corp, the C Corp, the uh, the uh, the uh, nonprofit and the foundation, LLC as we know is limited liability corporation for risky things. S corp. Hey man, guess what? I hit the lottery. I want to invest in your company. Well, okay, man, let's go. Let's make some money. You make some money. We make some money. I make some. You. Well, hold on. I don't want to invest in your company and be a part of your company. I just want to invest. I don't want to pay capital gains tax. I have the perfect thing. I have an S Corp. That's what that's for, man. Let's go. Okay. So that's what an S Corp is for, for investors. If you don't have investors, then why do you have a S Corp? Okay. So LLC, S Corp. C Corp is the mama corp. They love C Corps. That's why they're lacking the, the, the LLCs now. I've been telling people for years, banks are ran by old people. Old people, they're in the back somewhere, back there sitting in a chair with a big cigar, you know, a chase, and old people. And they don't like new things. A lot of these old people are saying, I don't like the LLC because it's limited liability. It can go in and out. Those LLCs are new. C-Corps are old. They've been around 2,000 years, and they don't like them. That's why they're attacking them now with the Transparency Act and all the rest of that stuff. I've been telling people for years, you can't take an LLC public, so why would you limit yourself? So, LLC, eh, you know, if that's if that's your thing, go ahead. I mean, you know, but you want it. The S-Corp, investors, 
the C Corp, Mama of Corp. You can do all kinds of things. So now you have now you have your your uh your wonderful uh, uh nonprofit, your non your church, your church. Now a lot of people know I tell this story all the time because I live the life, I live the life of of Mrs. Johnson. I'm around Mrs. Johnson, and y'all know where I'm going. It's been on it before, <laughs> right? So you go there, you got your nonprofit. The church collects all the money. They build another another church or a bigger church or whatever they do. And Mrs. Johnson in there, she's usually the, the, the big woman. She dark skinned with the gold tooth, big woman, dark with the, with the little curly kit, you know, it's, it's dripping the curls, this curl activated all over it. She's sitting back, you know, oh, she's always hot. She always sitting back in a few. Right? Amen. <laughs> Preach, right? <laughs> she comes in, she says, you know, and she cook real good, right? She got that big fat arm, you know, she cook good. Everybody got a Miss Johnson. Yeah, you don't act like you new to this, right? So imagine if Miss Johnson is cooking and say, hey man, you going to the mixer tonight? I say, nah, man. I say, man, I'm Miss Johnson cooking tonight. I'm going to get me two plates. I'm going over two plates, right? They're going to say, wait, Miss Johnson cooking tonight? Man, yeah, I'm going to mix them, brother. I'm, after I get my two plates, I'm going to eat two plates and I'm going to, I'm taking two plates home, right? The baby, with that big arm, like, baby, that, the, the greens be done soon, baby. You know, don't worry, Miss Johnson. We just sit here looking at the game. Let's wait. Black eyed pea. <laughs> you know. So, Miss Johnson goes in. If Miss Johnson wants to buy a house or a car, imagine if the if the nonprofit was a foundation, not a nonprofit. If the church was a foundation, pretty much the same thing, right? Eh, no, they're both nonprofits, but the foundation lends money or gives money to the foundation. The foundation lends money to the nonprofit. The foundation can be a bank. It can be a bank. It can lend money. So imagine if if Miss Johnson wanted to buy a car or a house, the foundation could lend her the money. Imagine how big the church would be if they were lenders. Free money coming in and lending it. That's what the bank does. I don't know if everybody's getting this. Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> but that's what the bank does. So, which one would you prefer? You know, oh, uh, why do you think Bill Gates and all of that? They, why do you think Bill Gates is talk, uh, putting all their money now in the nonprofit, him and his wife? Why do you think Oprah, non, the, I mean, foundation rather, foundation, the Gates Foundation, right? Oprah, you get a car and you get a car. You know, everybody gets a car because she's making so much money. She had a foundation and, you, and now she can... Only worry about five or fifteen percent, and keep all the rest of their own money under control. That's the foundation, and she can lend the money. Warren Buffett. Why are these people giving all their money to the foundation now? We need to learn business. We need to learn this stuff. Imagine how big the church would be. Church on every day going block, right? Why are they suffering? So now, is the five corporations. So uh, what I want to do is I want to, somebody said Maytag. <laughs> okay. All right. Keep a lot of this stuff to yourself. <laughs> okay. So now that we understand the seven structure, we have the C Corp because the C Corp is the mama. And the C Corp says, we own everything. But they, they write a letter to your holding court. The holding court says everything, the C-Corp says everything we own belongs to you, holding court. That's why you have Bank of America holdings. That's why you have Walmart holdings. You ever notice that? Because they say everything we own belongs to you. And they write it in a letter, a resolution, Right? And then they have it notarized and they put it in a book of minutes. So if somebody sues the mama or the babies, guess what? 
the money is protected. That's called a corporate veil. And now if you're making a lot, a lot of money, guess what? They go in and they have a trust. The holding court puts the money in the trust. All the people who are the shareholders put the money in the trust, either inside or outside the United States jurisdiction. Got it? That's called a super veil. So now we want to make sure that we protect our money. You're not going to build a house and not put windows and doors on the damn thing. Right? You want to protect it. So they teach you on the internet, well, we do credit card stacking, but they don't teach you how to protect your money. We're trying to teach you the entire 360 CEOs. So from now on, I'm teaching you the red pill. You're not going to walk out here today and say, what do you do? Oh, I do hair. You know, oh, uh, 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 uh. oh, I do nails. I'm a truck driver. No. What we are today, after today, after this webinar, somebody asks you what you do, you say, I am a businessman or a businesswoman. I'm a, 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 and, I, and I am a capitalist. That's right. I'm a capitalist. I live in a capitalistic society, right? I don't live in Africa or some world, somewhere where, where you give cash for everything. This is credit-based. Who's going to buy a damn $2 million home or 500000 home with cash? You look crazy. So that's capital. Credit is king. So we're going to say we are not a truck driver. I do not work a warehouse worker. I'm not a, uh, I do lashes. I'm not a hairdresser. No, I'm a businessman and a businesswoman. And I am a capitalist in a capitalistic society who will capitalize on anything that is legal and that makes sense. And I'm looking for capital. Let me say that again. I'm a capital, I live in a capitalistic society. Credit is king. And I'm a capitalist. I'm a businessman capitalist living in a capitalistic society looking for capital. And I will capitalize on anything that brings in capital and makes sense. And that is legal. Anything you do illegally, you can do legally. Got it? We're taking the red pill. To psh, psh, you know. I'm, I'm on the matrix. Morpheus, bank. bank. <laughs> That's what I want you to say from now on, all right? Right? <laughs> right? Bank! Oh, bank! I didn't see! <laughs> now I can see! There's a bank! And I want you to look at, you know, Dorothy! And you know her golden shoes? I want you to see the bank. Every time you see a bank, I want you to get happy and smile. Right? Ooh, babe, what's wrong with you? You, you looking at girls? Not bad, but look at, look at bank! <laughs> look at the bank, baby! I want you to have a relationship. I want you to have an outside relationship with the bank. <laughs> when you come home, you say, what? You act like you got another woman. Yeah, I got a relationship, babe. I'm just, I'm just honest with you. What are you trying to say? I got a relationship with the bank. With the bank, babe. <laughs> okay, so... I want to make sure that everybody has a relationship with the bank. I want to make sure that we also understand the five views. We have Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. We also have the five bureaus for a corporation. Now, a lot of people say, oh, go get your 80 pay deck score. What is an 80 pay deck score? It is a, it is a, it a credit score for a business. The bureaus for, for, for the five bureaus for a corporation are called or called uh, depositories, depositories. For your personal, those are called credit bureaus. So personal is Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. And the business, those are called depositories, and there's five of them, right? Well, before we get into that, I want to make sure everybody is, uh, some audience participation. And everybody that thinks that so far, I've been talking for a while now, I don't know how long. Uh, if you think that's just good information, put up a nine. 
if everybody thinks anybody that thinks it's a good information it's worth i can just say okay the hell with it. okay thank you for listening and get the hell out of here all right if you think this is good information something that you can use pertinent information put up a nine it's some audience participation right who's going to teach you this on the internet for free nobody <laughs> just put up a nine and wow thank you thank you thank you nine times nine times nine yeah i never seen that nine why nine y two k oh wow <laughs> times thank you thank you thank you <laughs> don't watch anyone but you boss thank you so much brother thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you for all the love fire thank you thank you thank you so much so i want to say we're cool thank you thank you thank you so much so what i want to say is alpha incorporated Thank you. I'm glad. I'm late. Glad you came. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. So we are Alpha Incorporated 360 CEOs. Without brokers, without finders, without attorneys, we are consultants. Uh, we're giving you from this, from our, from, from our point of view. If you need anybody in those areas, including tax people, please consult those people. Uh, we uh, believe that everyone on here is a friend. So now we can give this as consultants freely. So I believe everybody on here is a friend. So I will continue to give this information freely and thank everybody for watching all your love. We will have questions and answers. And I also want you to understand the five bureaus. Let's go into the five bureaus. Thank you so much for all the love. I think I love you too. I want you to succeed. So thank you. Uh, so now we will continue with the five bureaus. First bureau, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. We're talking about PayNet. We're talking about, let's go this direction. Let's start over. Equifax, Experian Business, Small Business Financial Exchange, Dunn and Bradstreet, and PayNet. Let's say this again. Equifax, Experian Business, Small Business Financial Exchange. That is banks talking to banks. Small Business Financial Exchange. Dunn and Bradstreet, not Dunn's, D-U-N-N, -N, Dunn and Brad Pitt, Bradstreet, Dunn and Bradstreet. And PayNet, why do we need to know this? Because we need to be smarter than every damn body on that internet. That's why we're here. And I want you to know, nobody is here by mistake. You could have been doing anything anywhere else, but we have come from all walks of life, all places. So we are one on here trying to give each other lift. I want you to have that mentality. That mentality turns you up, turns you into a positive force. And positive and a positive is a positive. A positive and a negative. I'm an engineer by by uh by trade. I worked 17 years for Raytheon as building rockets and missiles. Right? I helped build the Patriot missile system, put them in on the command ship Coronado. When the war broke out, I built a lot of uh, work in CIC, top secret security clearance, blue, uh, went around the Barron Straits all over the place building missiles. I got hurt on one of the ships, Kitty Hawk, uh, uh, nuclear turbines, all kinds of things. I was considered, I guess you consider me a, a rocket scientist, but this is not rocket science. I got hurt on the ship. Messed up my arm, became a hero, and opened up a bunch of, uh, 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 with, took the money and, and opened up a bunch of restaurants, style fish and chips, a chain. So that's how I started this stuff. And um, somebody gave me a hand up, not a hand out, but a hand up. So we don't need, some people just want a hand up. Just give me a little something and I can take it from here. Well, somebody did that for me, many people. So that's what I'm trying to do for you. So knowledge is not power. If you sit around and you grab this information, I can teach you all day. But if you do nothing with it and you don't teach your children, you've wasted my time. I could have been doing anything and you've wasted your time. So knowledge is not power. The application of knowledge is power. So we're going to go and we're going to open up question and answers. And what I want you to do is, is I want you to write down all kinds of things that you figure is going to take you to the top. You don't need us. 
all right? But I want you to write down and say, hey, do I need the question I need to ask so I can take it to the top? And a lot of people learn a lot from each other on here. This is no mistake that we're all on here. Everything has brought you, brought us together. So let's get something out of it, right? And uh, we're going to go to question and answers. Millen, you want to go uh, to the next slide, please? So what we're going to do is we're going to go to question and answers. Uh, I'm going to get up here and get me a drink of water. My voice is kind of going around this time. My voice starts going out. Uh, but we're going to have stay here. We're going to come back for, after question and answers, maybe five, seven minutes, maybe five, seven minutes or eight minutes, whatever. And we're going to come back and you don't need us. We're going to answer the question, hopefully, as many as we can. That's you're going. To, I want you to walk away and say, that's exactly what I needed to know. And that's good for me. Teach your children spectacular. Because I have been blessed. I, I Sometimes I wake up, I don't know how the hell I, I got here. But I know how I got here. I got here from other people get, taking the time and teach me something. So now I'm going to give that back. I can't teach you 30 years of knowledge, though. But I can give you the ground level. The ground level so you can go and get that seed money and not have to worry how your kids are going to eat not have to worry about how long i to work in this damn job what can i do and then your children you know what we do with our children we go in and tell them you're 18 now you need to get the hell up out of here how you gonna have some babies and say y'all gotta get the hell out of here I, I didn't have my kids so i get rid of them i want to see them every damn day look I'm not as young as you think. I just look like, like this. I've been the oldest duck around with Jesus. I remember Jesus' sandals. I remember when he first got them sandals, first sandals, right? <laughs> so, so I've been around a minute. My point is, is that uh, we need to teach our children, right? Stop being all cold to your kids and your kids are sitting on the couch talking about, you know what? Oh, uh, uh. If you don't get off that damn couch, you know, I'm tired of you on that couch. You better get a job or you better do something. You better get off that couch. I'm about to have it with this. That's what we say to our kids. You know what you should be saying to your kids? You should come home and say, you know what? I got, uh-uh, we, we got to have a talk. You ain't funding a damn corporation in over six months. <laughs> You ain't funded a corporate six months. But dad, I just funded a corporation six months ago. Well, damn it, you, uh, you, you fund another one. Every year, you should be funding another corp. You fund the corp here, and then when you take the money that you get, if you get $100,000, and then, then the corporation uh, take out the money to service the loan. Nobody tells you you got to service the damn loan. 75% of all companies that run out of money, run out of money and they, because they lose their business because they lose, they run out of money. Don't let that happen to you. So you need to take a portion of the money, whatever it takes to service that loan and put, and put that aside. Put that aside. If it's $1,000 a month, Put twelve thousand aside. If you got a hundred thousand, you got ninety to work with, or eighty, eighty-eight, right? Eighty, eighty-eight. Right. So what is that? Uh, ninety, uh, eight, nine, ninety. So put twelve thousand aside. So now, this the loan is being serviced. So we want an eighty pay deck score. What is an eighty pay deck score? Well. An 80 pay deck score means you have five to eight trade lines. That gives you an 80 pay deck score. Now, some people, if you pay your bills on time, you get an 80 pay deck score. If you have five to eight trade lines, right? So if your bill is due on the 15th, guess what? You pay your bill on the 15th, you get an 80 pay deck score. Because banks love it when you're paying your bills on time. Now, if you pay your bills on the 10th before the 15th, and it's due on the 15th, now you get a 90 pay deck score. 
Now the bank is relaxed, like, woo, we pay this bank, pay the bill before, before it's due. If you pay your bill before the bill comes, now you have 91 pay debts. Now the bank first lends you some money in a month and a half, it's a tranche, a tranche. What is a tranche, Mr. White? A tranche is between a, a, a three weeks to a month and a half. That's how long it usually takes for your, when you fund the court, for it to hit your credit. Now, don't go too fast or they will red flag you. So don't go out and do all these credit cards. Go in and get 100, 150. And then once you get that, let it hit the report. And you pay it, you take the money and put it aside. So after three months, you paid your bill on time before it's due. 91 paid that. And the bank first lent you the money. They're tight as hell. Like, whoo, I hope they pay the bill. But after three months, you paying the bill before it comes out. Nobody does that except large corporations. That's the only ones that do that. Now, guess what? If your wife or your man says, babe, we need that money. We need some money. Well, we got that money over there. I don't think so. Because that's my life force. If you touch that money, you ain't getting no more money. As long as you pay the bill, the bank will give you more money and more money because they know it takes money to, to make money. So in your personal, you can be maxed out and your credit score goes down because you can't go over 30%. But on your corporation, the beauty is you can be maxed out as long as you pay the bill and you pay it before time, they give you more money and more money. See the difference? Amazing. So now, and higher limits. So now, you go in, you got the uh, you got the 80 paydex. If you pay your bill, put the money aside to service the loan, now, after three months, Right, you have you are doing great paying the bill before it comes out. Now you go and say, I would like an increase. They're gonna give it to you. And in the next three months, the next quarter, you're gonna go back and say, Hey, I'm doing good. I'd like another increase. They say, Oh, they are relaxed as hell. By the time you get to the third time, the third month, the third quarter, not the third month, but the third quarter, three, six, nine, you're gonna say, I would like another increase, please. And they're going to say, man, they're going to give you that laying back on the couch with their hand behind their head. They're going to be relaxed. They're give that, giving that to you laying in bed, <laughs> right? They're like, woo, they're paying the bill good. Now, in the fourth quarter, you're going to go in and say, I would like, if you borrowed $100,000, you would say, I would like to borrow, right, for $100,000. Thousand. They say you want a PG. They say you say, no. I've been paying this bill on time. I got an eighty pay dex. I'm doing great. I want Willie to borrow a hundred. When they lend the money to Willie on its own, Willie will pay off what you PG'd, and now you're out of the game. And Willie is responsible. So now, if something happens with Willie, the cars you bought, the houses you bought, you're not in the game. You say. And if Willie met you say, bye, Willie. And now you can the game. You can PG your next court. But guess what? If Willie doesn't mess up, then after that, Willie's got money. You're out of the game. So get another corporation at the end of the year and fund Leroy. And then the next year. You get another court because you're out of the game and you fund Leroy. And the next year, Harry, Wilhelmina. So you should have your children should always have a shelf court funding, funding. There's no reason why you should not be a millionaire and your children a millionaire doing the correct process. Make sense? That's the game. So now what I want to do is we want to go in. Millen, are you there? Yes. Please go in for question and answers. OK. Uh, shall I do my presentation before? 
Yes, please. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get a drink of water. <laughs> My throat is good. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into question and answers. Uh <clears throat> and uh Miller's gonna come in, he's gonna talk a little bit. A lot of people say, Mr. Whitehead, I say you don't need us. We're gonna come back to question and answers, and I'm gonna answer every question. Well, as much as I can. Nobody knows everything. So guess what? If, if a person says they know everything, say, man, get out of here. You don't know, because their mind is closed. They can't learn nothing else, right? So I certainly don't know everything, but I have 30 years of knowledge. What I'm giving you is just basic, so you can get that seed money. But there's a whole lot more. Think about the macro, the big money. And that's some of the stuff that we teach out in uh, in, uh, in, our, in our webinars. We're going to go into real estate at our webinar. We're going to go into uh, taking companies public. We're going to go in. When you walk out of there, you're going to be a mastermind. You're going to know a lot more. If you think you learned something today, you're going to learn a lot more there. Uh, and that's our intentions. But again, you don't need us. I'm trying to give you everything you need, plus come back to question and answers and answer those questions and say, that's what I needed to know. So we're here, uh, economicbasement.com, 360 CEOs. You guys that are out there on Instagram, TikTok Live, I don't know, at two, four, six, uh, eight. We've got almost, almost 900 people here. You can come here and you can look at and see what everybody on here that's live can see right and ask a question and ask a question so my buddy Miller is going to come in if there is something a lot of people say well mr whitehead even though i try to tell you everything you need they still say well mr whitehead a thousand emails can you help me with this i said i try to tell, just ask a question i'll tell you well no mr whitehead i want you to help me with i want to buy an age corporation from you i want to go in and uh i want to do a class or i want to know uh this or how you know what if i change the name on a corporation i want to i want you to help me so if there's something that we you want us to help you with mr willem millen will come in here and let you know some of the things that we can help you with and um but remember you don't need us all right so i'm going to go get a drink of water millen has uh a heavy accent he's my buddy my buddy he's out there in in, in, in spain probably he's not in the country here but he's my partner and we buy a lot of land. We do a lot of big things. And Will Smith said, if you are smarter and have more money than all your friends, it's time to get some new damn friends. So I can assure you, I do well. This guy's worth about a half a billion dollars. Family money. <laughs> okay, so he don't need you. We're doing this. You don't need us. So hang in there. Listen to what he's saying. Uh, going to come in with his partner's accent. very heavy, but uh, he's a very heavy guy. Um, and I thank you, Miller, for coming in here. He's, in fact, the guy that got me into this doing this, right? You need to teach the people that it. He said, some people went on there. We were looking at land. And the people came in there talking about getting the 80 pay decks. And the guy was saying, you know, on YouTube, he popped up and said, get your 80 pay decks and let us help you get your quill and your, and your, uh, and your, uh, 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 80 paydex in your merchant accounts. I said, Miller, this is garbage. So he recorded me. After he recorded me, he came back. I hung up. He said, Derek, look at TikTok. I said, what the hell is TikTok, Miller? He said, TikTok. Look at TikTok. I looked at it. He had put me up there and we got over 10,000 people interested in what I was saying in like, in like an hour hour so he said they need this information better why don't you teach the people i said I, I, he's willing so that's how i got here so thank you million uh thank you very much <laughs> uh, and uh so listen to million i'll be back you don't need us hang in there i'll come back and answer your questions <clears throat> i'll get a drink of water and i'll be right back
Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. And uh, we are almost, man, three hours in, right? So thank you for still being here. And uh, I appreciate you being here because, and also I want to congratulate you because uh, if you are still here after three hours, <laughs> that means that you are someone who don't play around, right? So you are someone who, you know, is very ambitious very serious about this and it shows that you can get things done you can get the you know the million dollar in corporate funding and you will grow your business to a multi-million dollar or even billion dollar level if you apply this knowledge of course this is not a get rich quick scheme or anything like that you need to you know not only get the knowledge and uh, understand it but also apply it and work for it, not work like you know on the field, <clears throat> but uh, you know you need to apply that because it's not like you get this knowledge, put it under your pillow, wake up rich. That, that don't work like that. Okay, so uh, so before we go to Q and A, uh, my name is Milan Win. I'm Mr. Whitehead, business partner. I'll I'll be with you for the next ten minutes or fifteen. Okay, and I'll just show you something. Uh, really special that we have for you and that we believe that uh, will get you that money that Mr. Whitehead was talking about much faster. And uh, as he said, you don't need us, but if you want someone like us to take you by the hand and guide you through so you can get that money faster, I think you will like what I will I have for you here. So also please excuse my accent even though I speak four languages fluently. Unfortunately, I still have some accent. I hope you don't mind. And I'll do my best to deliver this presentation so I can help you better. Let me just check out the comments. What up, uh, Tommy? What's going on? Uh, hey, uh, how are you? Thank you so much. So every, everybody can hear me. Everything's fine. Let's continue. Um, so now, You've heard Mr. Whitehead, and uh, if you've been paying attention, and I hope you did, right? So now you know that getting funded with 100, 2, 3, 4, 500,000, or even 1 million is possible, you know, and you can do it as long as you have your corporation, you have your corporation, your willy under your, you know, arm, <laughs> right? And uh, as long you, as you have the core and follow his advice he talked about in this webinar. So if you are someone who wants to get this kind of money from the bank, so you can invest it and scale it to a multi-million dollar company, possibly go public and enjoy the life you've always wanted, we have great news. Now you can get properly structured and properly built season a shell corporation ready for funding. So you can get it and apply for large sums of funding for a fraction of the cost other companies sell. Okay, so this uh, season eight shelf ready for million dollar funding corporation has been carefully built the exact way the banks want so that you can apply for 100, 2, 3, 4, 500,000 or even 1 million dollars. Use this money to scale your business and make millions from investments like real estate, right? And possibly take your business to a billion dollar publicly traded company, which is totally possible. We don't do it, why not you? So if you want to get funded with 100, 2, 3, 4, 500,000 or even 1 million, if you want to use this money to scale your business and possibly take your company public, and you want to do it within only 12 weeks or less, I would say six weeks right? uh, from, from the time you buy the corp and you build it, it's going, to be, it's going to take around six weeks, but let's be on the conservative side, I would say six to 12 weeks, right? Then this shell corporation has been seasoned and built specifically for you if you want to do that, right? So here's what this shell corporation consists of. Right? You're getting a shell core that is unpublished, first of all, unpublished, okay? If you've been paying attention, Mr. White has explained why unpublished is a must-have. Big banks love that, okay? Uh, it doesn't have bad credit, that's very bad. And it's very important, if it has bad credit, you can, you're going to get denied. 
you're not going to get anywhere, right? So ideal age is ideal age, 48 years old. Uh, banks absolutely love that. It's properly built and properly structured. It's ready to receive the funding. So, and once you have all of this, game over, okay? Enjoy your money, that's what I will say. So, how much do these shelf corporations are sold for? Okay, so, you can check how much they sell similar shelf corporations on the internet. I'm talking about this kind of corporations. I'm not talking about like one-year-old corp or S-corp or LLCs or any of that, right? I'm talking about C-corp, four to eight years old, unpublished, never sold online, have, you know, has good credit, everything's fine, okay? This kind of corps, you can find them at about $20,000. You can check, right? So, and they sell like cupcakes. Why? Well, simply because they can get to thousands and possibly millions in funding. Who doesn't want to pay 20000 and get 200000 back or 300000 or 400 or more, right? The problem is that not all of these corporations you will find online are ready for funding. There is a lot of fraud out there. So, uh, you know, some of them are not only poorly structured, not only published, which is a big no-no to the banks, but can also have bad credit. And if you don't know how to check that, you can lose your money. On top of that, once you buy the corp, you know, let's say that you find like a really good corp, you believe that person, whatever it is, right? Not many people know that even if you buy a season take shelf corp, you still need to do some specific steps to build it and prepare it for funding. Doesn't matter if it's uh, unpublished, doesn't matter if it's been on the shelf, it's properly, you know, aged and uh, uh, like a fine wine, doesn't matter. You need, still need to do some things to, to prepare it for funding, right? But, you know, these companies, most of them, not all of them, I don't know all of them, but I mean, you have to be careful. Most, some of them, they, they will not guide you, you know, they will not build it for you, they will not prepare it for funding, they will not advise you. You just get the core, good luck, bye-bye, right? Pay us the money and on your own. But with us, it's a completely different story. We will hold you by the hand and show you how to build the core. So some, you know, so some banks can even beg you, right, to give you more funding. They will pay you to give you more. So now you're probably asking yourself, okay, I want to know how much for all this value. Okay, fair enough. Uh, but before I reveal to you the final price, let's go over the core really quickly so you can understand the colossal value and the benefits of what you're going to be getting. Let me just uh, look at the comments and see if everything's fine. Uh, okay, fine, fine, fine. Okay, so uh, now you're getting a shelf corp, um, H shelf corp that is like a pipeline, uh, and it's dollar value. It's properly built in properly structure. It's this is $1,997 value. It's unpublished, never sold online. This is a must have, right? This is $3,997 value. It doesn't have bad credit, and banks absolutely require that. You know, you have to be careful with that. Uh, I repeat. Uh, this is $2,997. It's ideal age, uh, 4 to 8 years old. This is $2,997. But that's not all. Plus, we will hold you by the hand and tell you exactly what you need to do to complete the process and have it ready for funding uh, in less than 12 weeks. This is $3,497. And we will teach you where to get a proper physical business address, which is the exact business address they love. It's not you cannot just get any address you know you have to be careful with that because people you know they they think that they're doing everything right they screw this up and then they, they are not getting fun and they wonder what what the hell happened right but what that happened you know oh, this happened or something else which you didn't do right so uh, this is the $347 value and we will teach you where to get a proper business phone number, landline, the absolute the proper one, uh, that, that's also a must have, this is $347 value and we will tell you the ideal SIC and ICS codes that will get you approved even faster. I repeat, do not screw these up because you will be denied faster than a heartbeat. Banks don't play around, so, so they have a lot of applications, a lot of people are you know, want to get this money because this is a lot of money which you can get. Get the money, 
um, you know, invest it and rinse and repeat. That's how all the billionaires are built. Or did you think that they, they are, uh, work nine to five to do that? No, they do that. This is the process. You, you have it here, right? It's in front of you. So this makes a total value of $35,673. But because we wanted to succeed even faster, we have prepared something really, really astonishing for you today. And this is on top of everything else, because you're on this webinar right now, okay, you are going to get the season day shell corporation and plus you're going to receive the full 360 ceo economic medicine and masterclass coaching program completely free okay this is our program our baby we are doing this program for almost two years we are still co continuing to build it and it's getting more and more value so i don't know this this probably costs like hundred thousand dollars but we sell it usually we sell it for only four thousand but when and today when you get the shell core Corp, you're getting this program for free. This is just simply astonishing. And I had to convince Mr. Whitehead. It was very difficult. He, uh, you know, our team and him were very reluctant to give this away simply because of all the sweat and tears has costed us during the years to produce for you. And But today you're getting uh, included with the Shell Corp. This is amazing. Okay. So this program, let me tell you about this program just so you know what you're going to be getting here because some people think oh it's just just you know some program no no uh, just hear me out so this program consists of four main modules okay and in this in these modules we are going to teach you in module one we will teach you how to be a good pg for your corporation okay what is a good pg a pg means personal guarantor mr white had explained this in the webinar i hope you paid attention so when you go to the bank and ask for a for the business credit through your corporation. Let's call this corporation a Willy. And the bank will ask you who is going to guarantee that Willy here is going to pay us back. And you're going to say, I am, because I am a personal guarantor. Okay. But a good personal guarantor has to have good credit and good FICO. Okay. So for here, uh, we're going to teach you how you can have good credit and good FICO so you can be an excellent PG and have much greater chance to get more business credits more business funding and more money with your shelf corp. This is $1,997 value. So uh, the, the, the shelf corp is basically you're going to get the funding. Uh, you don't need the program to get the funding, but with this program, you're going to, you know, learn how to fish. So if you give, if we give you a fish, you, you, you eat for a day, but when you learn how to fish, you eat for a lifetime and you have a, you know, a legacy for your children. You can teach your kids like, Mr. Whitehead always says, says, so this is very, very important, this problem, okay? So now, in module two, we'll teach you how to build and structure your corporation properly so the banks fall in love with it and want to give you more business credit. This is $1,997 value. And then uh, module three is gonna be about funding and we'll teach you how to fund it so you can know how to fund your corp and anybody's corp for that matter. And this is 2000 $997 value, okay? Now, module four is all about business funding. Uh, I mean, uh, it's all about, you know, investing the funding, I mean. So uh, after you have gotten the business funding, it's very important for you to learn how to go and multiply it because otherwise, what good, good is it if you lose it, right? So uh, the million dollar question or rather billion dollar question is how do you do that? Okay, and what that's what this module is all about here. We will show you some amazing investment opportunities so you can grow your portfolio. Okay, fact is that 75% of all billionaires and billionaires in America exist because of real estate. That's why they call them the land lord, you know, lord of the land. So if you control the land, you control what? You control everything, right? That's why they fight these wars. Unfortunately, there is a lot of greed and they want to control the land, you know, pipelines and the gas and the mineral, what, what not, right? And the, the, the trees and the whatever. So this module is worth a minimum of $9,997 value, but you're getting it included with the program, with the core, okay? But, you know, you thought that I was done, didn't you? <laughs> Not so fast, okay? So when you order your Shell Corp today, you're also going to receive something amazing. 
which is direct access to the man, to the myth, to the legend, Mr. Whitehead himself, and ask him any questions you want. And some people pay 40,000 just to be in a room with him for an hour. Okay? But today, when you get your shelf core, you're also gonna get direct live group Zoom access to him, so you can get personalized help immediately, okay? So let's recap really quickly the value of what you're gonna be getting here. But before I do that, let me just check out the comments. Uh, okay, that's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, so let's recap, uh, you know, so you can understand the value. Uh, you're getting a season day shelf corp that, corp that has been aged like a fine wine. This is 14997 Properly built and properly structured, this is $5,997 value. Unpublished, never sold online, $3,997 value. Doesn't have bad credit, $2,997 value. Ideal age, $2,997 value. And we will hold you by the hand and tell you exactly what you need to do to complete the process and have it ready for funding in less than, I would say, 6 to 12 weeks. Okay, so this is $3,497 value. And we will teach you where to get a proper physical business address, $347 value, and where to get a proper business phone number, landline, $347 value, and ID, SIC, and ICS codes that will get you approved even faster. This is $497 value. On top of everything else, because you're on this webinar right now, when you get your CCT shelf corp, you are also going to receive the full 360 CEO economic master masterclass program completely free, which usually sells for 3997 but in there, there is like information worth, I would say it's priceless. I can't put a tag on it because if, if I put a tag, I would say something crazy like a million, which is, you know, probably, you know, right. right? <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> in, in the program, in module one, we will teach you how to be uh, with PG. This is $1,997 value. Then, uh, module two, uh, how to structure your code properly, $1,997 value. And module three is uh, how to get the business funding, $2,997 value. And, and module four, about investment opportunities, including real estate and some other ones that are really amazing. And this is uh, a worth a minimum of $9,997 value. Also, when you order your shelf code today, you're also receiving direct access to the man, to the myth, to the legend, Mr. Whitehead himself, and ask him any questions you want. This is $40,000 value. And now this makes a total value of $92,658. And if you pay us this money, you're gonna get the court. No, I'm just kidding. You know, you're not, we're not gonna charge $92,658. Look, we could, right? Because of the enormous value this opportunity represents. But let me ask you a question. Do you think that after getting you're ready for funding season eight shelf corp and learning all of the high financial step-by-step -step, financial step-by-step -step secrets mr whitehead will teach you in this program do you really think that after all of this would be possible for you to get the funding you need and use it to invest and scale your business and enjoy a lifestyle of comfort fun and financial freedom do you think this is possible yes i think so too because it is possible and if we can do it you can do it we have nothing special, we just know some things that you never heard about, but here you will get everything you need so you can apply it and get the funding and uh, move forward. So you've seen the value of this webinar, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. Huh? That's, you know, just nothing. What you have heard so far, uh, I don't know about you, but I would trade $92,658 for such an amazing opportunity all day long, right? So we're not going to charge you 92,658 today. We're not going to charge you even 50,000, not even 20,000. When you order today before the end of this webinar, the price for the season HL core plus the whole 360 CEO program that includes credit corporation funding plus access to Mr. Whitehead will be only $8,900. And we are doing this because we want to help you succeed get the business funding, scale your business to a multi-million dollar company and possibly take your company public. And of course, we don't financially agree with that. But only today, just because you're, or you are on this webinar, you stay till the end, you can get it for only 7,997, just now, okay? So here's what you need to do next. Just click on the link in the chat. I'm gonna uh, place 
the link, the, you know, the link so you can get the call in the chat. And feel free to hop on a free discovery call with our team. Link will be also in the chat. They will help you with any questions you may have. Now listen, this is a great offer. And you will see, you see it now. Lots of people are going to take us on this for obvious reasons. It is simply an amazing value, but it will not be available for long. This is a special price right now for everyone who is attending this webinar. I want you to know that this is not going to be available to the general public. You cannot get this discount if you come back, let's say, next week or even possibly in the next few days. So click the link in the chat, get the cork today and start enjoying your wealth, you know, enjoy your life, you know, get the cork, get your funding, scale your business, and then have fun, get a nice car, buy a mansion, go to a vacation, you know, fulfill your wildest fantasies. I don't know, each one of you has a different one. I, I don't want to know, right? But uh, I will leave this to your imagination. Once you do this, there is no turning back. Only the sky will be your limit. Now, I'm going to give the microphone back to Mr. Whitehead for Q&A. Go ahead, get the corp, and I'll see you at the top. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you, everybody, for your patience. Uh, thank you so much. What we want to do now is we want to go into question and answers. And uh, go into question and answer. We're going to question and answers. Well, what is we want to do question and answers. And uh, again, like I said, you don't need us. Uh, we're trying to answer whatever you want, you need to know so that uh, you can say, that's just what I wanted to know. That's what I need the answer to take me to the top. So what we wanna do is we wanna go from female to male because the males tend to dominate all the questions. All right, so what we wanna do is, is uh, go from female to male. I want you to mute your phones, please. Mute your phones so we don't have the, all this background stuff going on so people can't hear. Uh, what I also want you to do is not just pay attention to me, but pay attention to the questions because you learn from some of these questions that people ask and, uh, asking. And you would not believe the questions that people ask. Uh, and what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to try my best to answer the question the best. I, all right. So I want you to give me the background. I don't want you to tell me all the background. I want to go in. You tell me the question. And don't tell me about when I was a baby, I started out and I got a business and now I don't want you to give me the whole background, right? Uh, just give me the question, formulating the question. Let's try to get in a minute and then get out of there. Uh, we've been doing this thing for, I don't know how many hours, uh, four, three, four hours. I don't know how long, but I'm not counting. I'm already off the timer and, and in trouble. I'm going way over the time, uh, but that's okay. So let's go to the uh, female, Vanessa. Lane, just tell me who, where you, who you are, where you're from, and give me the question. Hi, Derek. Vanessa Glenn here, Tennessee. Glad to be here. Here's the question: mm -hmm. When we are, when, when you're putting your asset into a, is there a premier person to take someone? out of the trust or put an adult person in the trust a person in the trust or assets in the trust trust generally could hold assets either either exactly uh, okay so uh uh and trust there are plenty of 
different types of trusts, but the main two is going to be a uh, revocable and non-revocable trust. And so revocable mm -hmm. means you can put things in and take things out. A uh, non-revocable is kind of like the Rothschilds or, or the Gettys. They, they have formed uh, non-revocable trusts. And through the years, what has happened is, is that those people have said, we will put all this money in the trust, but nobody down the line in the family can sell anything, can't take it out. And that's a non-revocable trust. That's why they're so rich today. You can invest, but you cannot take nothing out and squander the money. So if anything, in the family, you are, you can get a, you can get what they call like a, you could be a trust fund baby and get a little stipend from the trust, but you can't take out property and all these different types of things. And that's why they are getting, uh, uh, moving up the Rothschilds and all these people, but like um, Rockefellers, they didn't do that. So their money is not as strong as a lot of the other ones, like the DuPonts and the Chases and, and, and those people, because the irrevocable trust is the way to go. Right. So it, it depends on how you like it, but you can uh, put people in and people out and that's going to be the trust store. The trust store, it controls it, uh, the actions and the trustee uh, does the bidding of what the trust store says. And then there's beneficiaries like your children or whoever you want to inherit things in the trust. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, brother, so much films. My man, how's it going? All right, let's try uh, LIS, L-Y-S. What's your question? Don't give me the background, just give me the question. What's your name? What's your question. You have to unmute your phone. All right, let's go to Dexel White. What's your question? Hello. Yes, where are you from? What's your name? And just give me the question. Don't give me the background. Yes, my question is, you say you got to be careful what state you establish the corporation. What are three co states that will be the best state to start a corporation in? Uh, New Mexico, Wyoming, Georgia, uh, uh, Minnesota. The states that you should, in my opinion, you should not go to would be uh, where, uh, um, uh, uh, let's say, uh, Arizona. Um, those are cheap states because a lot of people go to those states, Delaware, Arizona, uh, Nevada. Why do you not go to those states, in my opinion? is because as a banker, uh, banks, a lot of uh, banks understand that they're trained to look out because a lot of people go to those states. And that means that mm -hmm. there's more potential for fraud. So they're going to mm -hmm. look at you a lot closer because there's so many people going there because it's a cheap state with cheap. A lot of people are going there. So I would look mm -hmm. out for those states. Okay. Thank you. Yes. All right. And let's go to a female. Uh, Deborah. Yes, good evening, Mr. Whitehead. My question is pertaining to the shelf corporations. After we acquire the shelf corporations, are there any other fees that we would have 
as building it out with tribes? Uh, you can always, uh, trade lines are good. Why? Because uh, banks tend to lend based on what other banks have already given you. So if a bank has already given you 10,000, they match it usually or go higher. So if you have trade lines, you wanna go in and buy a $100,000 car, it will help you immensely if the bank sees that you already had, you've been given $100,000. So if you wanna buy a car or whatever, or, or get Toro or cars uh, or equipment, an equipment loan, that would be pay net. So you build up your pay net and then you go in and go to, let's say, Ally and go get yourself your cars, your heavy equipment, your phones, your uh, your uh, uh, fax machines, copy machines, bulldozers, tractor trailers, whatever, you know, so it would always help. But we're talking about seed capital here. So if you don't have trade lines, you can still go in and get yourself as a PG, build yourself up <laughs> to, you know, 100 150 whatever uh 200,000 whatever and then mm -hmm. then they will sh after they show then you'll have trade lines but they're in tranches so if you don't have it you can get some money but you get more with trade lines faster but that doesn't mean that you can't go in and get you know the seed money that you need without trade lines we sell trade lines but we're not here to uh, have you buy things from us. I want you to succeed and let you know you don't need them. Okay. That's what I want to know. Thank you, sir. All right. And I, I just want you to know, I certainly appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you to succeed. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. If this is uh, uh, Brother Sean. We got the privilege to have Brother Sean on here. Oh, man. This is, uh, How you doing? How you doing? Good, 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 brother. This is the highlight. This is the highlight. Uh, a lot of times, you guys, uh, you don't have Sean coming. I say, Sean, can you come on, man, sometimes and, and uh, just tell the people a little bit extra? I'm talking about seed money, and then I'm talking about, uh, you know, what you can do as far as taking your company public and and, and private raises and and uh, we got Sean here 30 years ago him and his partner who's on our on our tour I took him out of retirement Sean can you please come in and come out of retirement and, I don't know Derek I got these guys out of retirement but they wrote this is the guy that worked in boiler room you watched the movie the boiler room that guy they wrote that movie about this is the guy that they went in and put him in the head after he got his hand slapped so him and Kyle brought me into this stuff 30 years ago on the, on the uh, fundraising side, which is your macro money. So glad to see you, Sean. Can you come in and, and, and give them a little taste of uh, about uh, how you can actually take a company public or and be a Google? Yeah, yeah, definitely. This, this guy came in, so you guys yeah, know. This, you guy, know. Guy, this guy took a company public from a nickel to like two dollars a share, somewhere's around fifty, sixty million dollars in two years. Okay, and this is the real deal. So um, he's at our at our. Uh, uh, actually, actually, Mr. White, actually, Mr. Whitehead, uh, it went up to like like four or five dollars, and it was like one hundred fifty million. <laughs> Not to brag or anything, but you know that's that's uh, that's that was another one, another story there. But uh, yeah, you know. What we what we look for is well capitalized companies, you know. And if you're not capitalized, if you have a pretty good idea, what we can do is we can find investors that will invest in your company, and then you know, to get you where you need to be, and then we can take you public. Basically, my partner and I, what we use, what we specialize in is Reg A, Reg A mini IPO. So we specialize in, and then they're for smaller companies to medium-sized companies even though you could do pretty much any size companies but smaller to medium-sized companies because uh usually uh the, the the smaller companies can't afford to do a basic ipo i mean you're looking at 750 minimum fee in fees just to, just to and that's what the smaller boutique companies 
We don't charge nowhere near that at all. Our thing is to make sure you guys are good and make sure you guys are listed and to create generational wealth. That's our main objective. Uh, myself, Mr. Whitehead, our main objective is to help you guys get there, not to try to bamboozle you guys and do all of this stuff to you. We're here to help. That's like, that's it. So we don't charge. We don't do all of these all these crazy fees. Nothing like that. We just we just want you guys to succeed in life. There's no being able to walk and go afford anything you want to, and you don't even think about money. You don't even look at the price tag. There's no better feeling in the world. And we just want we just, we just want you guys to feel the same thing we feel. Uh, next event my, on the 14th, be there. We are going to rock and roll. Rock and roll. I'm telling you guys, be there. You guys will learn some stuff. You guys will get a chance to meet us in person and, and ask us and, and ask us questions and pick our minds and things of that nature. You know, um, but I, I don't want to take up too much of your time because it's already kind of late. Uh, I just wanted to pop in. You know, I wish you guys the best of luck. You guys are in great hands with Mr. Whitehead. I'm telling you, this guy is like a mad scientist. He just knows stuff that, I mean, even I go up to him and I say, you know, Mr. Whitehead, what about this right here? What about that right here? He'll come out here, pop up with an answer like it's nothing. So just uh, like I say, you guys are in good hands with him. All right. Take care. God bless you guys. All right. Thank you. March brother. 14th, Miami, Florida. March, March 14th, Miami, Florida. We are going to do some teaching. If you're into real estate, if you're into notes, uh, that high end stuff, you don't just want to build a little building. You want to build, you want to go to the top. Why can't you be a Google? Nobody's exposing this. I see, I look around the internet. Only thing people are talking about is credit card stacking. You know, 80, fix your credit. You know, I mean, uh, after you do that, then what you going to do? You want to have that picture over over the fireplace of yourself sitting there with the big cigar, you know, or, or, or just sitting in that big chair and the kids and everybody around you. And they say, you know, who is that? That's John started this. Are sitting there and the, and the man's got his arm on her standing up she's sitting in a chair who's that that's grandma johnson she started this whole thing that's why we got all this money that's what we need to do we're going to be the first the first culture or the first generation that is that leaves their kids nothing that's 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 ridiculous we're going to be the first culture, uh, let me say, not culture, the first, the first group, and not our grandkids, the granddaddy, everybody left their kids something. We're going to be the first group to leave our, our children nothing. That's pathetic. So we have to change this. We're coming in. We've done well. I've done well. Uh, uh, these guys, they wrote books about these guys. And Kyle and Sean. Um, and uh, I'm telling you, we're going to show up and show when we go there. Uh, but we can't do but so much in two, three, four hours. Uh, but when you come there, we're going to have three days, no more than two hours, three hours. We're changing the, uh, the whole scenario. We're going to do three days. So uh, if you'd like to come out, we're going to do some teaching. You can ask these guys, where else can you go ask a person that has taken a company public? How do you do that? Where else can you go there? Where else can you do that? You get a ticket, you go there, you get your hotel room, come down and learn. You can't get this education in Harvard. You can't get this in Harvard. They charge you $900,000 to go to Harvard and they're gonna take you four years to combine this in a, they're not gonna teach you this. So uh, pay attention, let's go in, teach your children. Right, you don't need us. Ask the question there now. We're going to do a tour. I don't know how long we do it, but we made a pact that we're going to go out and change the whole, turn the whole damn thing upside down. We may have some people angry at us by the time we finish, but we're going to do what we got to do. We're going to do what we got to do. All right. So thank you, my man. Thank you, Sean, and 
They uh, Sean can show you where they've taken their company public. It's still, it's st I mean, they still own the private placement memorandum, all that stuff. They can show you. You can uh, look this up. These guys are the real deal. Nobody's playing here. All right. So that being said, you know, when Sean comes on here, I'm glad he does. Uh, ask him a question. Don't just let this guy come on here, turn this company into $100 million, and you got a guy. You, can you get Chase on here to teach you? Try it. Say, oh, Mr. Chase, will you come on here at night at 12 o'clock at night and, and, and introduce yourself and, and uh, show us how you are built a bank? Yeah, good luck. <laughs> right? So take advantage. Ask the guy questions. We got some powerful people on here. Ask the guy some questions. Don't just say, oh, that was nice. We got you to, if it was me, I'd be saying, oh, Mr. Sean, how do you go pub? How do you go public? What does it take to do that? Ask questions. This is question and answer hour. <laughs> All right. So, Brother Tobit, what's your name? Thank you for popping in. Really appreciate it. Brother Tobit, what's your question? Hey. hey, Derek, how are you doing? Tony Reynolds from uh, Shot Town, Chicago. Yes, Look here, thanks a lot, Derek. Uh, I really appreciate you. God bless you, man. Uh, you changed my mindset, and quite frankly, I'm financially I've grown a dose from listening to you. You know, uh, mm -hmm. but, but but what I like to ask you in, in regards to the corporation is that uh, when you were speaking about okay, if uh, let's say you go in with Willie and you get the funding and and Willie does bad and everything like that. Um, of course, of course, you can say, okay, Willie, and you can pull out Dolomina or whatever other corporation that you got, Lee or whatever. But what I want to ask, what about Willie? Uh, what about the situation with Willie as far as bad? Is that or whatever? Well, I know that that Willie that uh, is a separate entity in itself. So I'm what I'm, I guess what I'm really asking, okay, Willie's gone, but. Uh, how does that affect you as the personal guarantor? Doesn't affect you at all. If it affects you, uh, uh, if you do, if you do things in the right, uh, then you can get yourself out of the situation. That's not your credit cards. Those are not your. That's not your lines of credit. That's not your L. That's none of this is yours. You're just signing for it. And so, so. If you have six months of paying on a credit card, the banks will write it off as debt equity and they'll get paid through insurance when you default and they're going to take the money. You put a thousand in they lend you a thousand. They're going to have 10,000 on their books. So the bank's not hurting. Right. Oh, okay. So, but so, yeah. You know, okay. But in the end result, if you're talking about a lot of people go in and say, Hey, you know what? I have a, uh, inquiries those aren't your inquiries so people say well i got all these inquiries i can't fund no more i can't fund my court no more get rid of the inquiries that's not your inquiries they're not going to teach you this on the internet you say hey listen if you get rid of these, you can keep funding right you don't have these inquiries if you have over three inquiries then you're going to finish with funding so get rid of it. Say, hey, that's not my credit card. They don't, they only put on your credit inquiry, but they don't put rate and term and all that other stuff like personal. They put that on the corporate's credit. So when you go into the bank, you say, hey, listen, that's not my inquiry. I'm just a signer. I'm not the corps using the credit cards, not me. That person's taking advantage, okay. not me. So you get rid of the inquiry. And you can keep on funding. Next thing is, if you do it and you go in and you pay your bills before they're due, after about a year of continually raising, raising, raising uh, the uh, the credit lines, because you're paying the bill before they even come out, that's a 91. Then you're going to go in and say, at the end of the year, I want Willie to borrow IPG. If Willie borrowed 100, get 100 with, with Willie. They say, well, you borrowed 100 and you've been paying it before the bill even comes out. Sure, we'll lend Willie on its own 100. And then Willie will pay off 
what you signed for and you're out of the mix. Now, Willie is responsible for everything. Now, I never advocate screwing around the bank because if you screw the bank up, you screw yourself because Willie, at the end of the year, could still be kicking it and popping it and getting more and more and more credit constantly. And then when you get Willie gets a new loan, you're out of it. Now you go get another one and fund this one. So now you have two that you're funded and, and working that money. And then after a year, you come in with the next one, and now you have three. So it's no good idea to bank. Nobody has more money than the bank. Who has more money than the bank? Nobody. <laughs> Okay, so you should every year be removing yourself from the liability and then coming in and funding a new corp. Corp should be, you should be looking, open your closet, and after a couple of years saying, can't wait till next year, come on, get me another <laughs> corp. I'll go get another one. And who says that you have to use all the money? Every time you get a new court and you go and fund it for 100, 200, 300, 400,000, if you got one that's doing well, that money's flowing there. You take that money out and put it in a new court and then fund bigger because it's going to say, this corp's got money. And then you do the next one. Oh, you take okay. the money from both of these All and right. put it in this okay. corporation's account. They're going to say, this corp got money, money. And every time you get a new court, you get but more and more and more money. You got bank statement loans. You got you got uh, uh, letters of credit. You got uh, annualized loans. You go in after three months or some banks are six months, and you say, "I would like an annualized loan." Based on your based on how much you have in there, your ending balance. If you got ten thousand dollars every month for three months or six months, some six or three, you'll say, "Listen, I would like an annualized loan." And so, well, okay, let's look and see what you got paying your bills on time. You got a great 80 pay decks. Okay. Well, okay. Guess what? We're going to add up a year. You only got six months or three months, but they will add up a year and lend you based on a year, 75% of whatever a year adds up to. Thousand at a year is 120,000. So you're borrowing a 85, 80 something thousand dollars off, off, because you got bank statements adding up $10,000 every month for three months or some of six months. Annualized loan. You get a letter of credit. Mm -hmm. Then you can go in and say, you know what? I got two corporations. You can go in and say, guess what? I'm going to take this corporation and lend this corporation $100,000. When you borrow the money, you got to move, work the money. Take that hundred, you borrow two, take a hundred. Lend it to this company. It's still in your possession. And now, you file a $100,000 trade line on this court. And then turn around and lend this back company. Now you got a $100,000 trade line. This one. The whole idea is to build, 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 build. You understand? So we need to learn this stuff. Yeah. We're going to teach you this for free on the internet. Bye. Nobody. <laughs> okay. So the object right. is to leverage, right? Man, now once, thanks. You, once you get to a certain a certain space and time, after you go to the banks, exhaust the banks, then you because you're removing inquiries, right? Mm -hmm. Then you go into where? You yeah. go to the credit unions. They give money out like water, right? Then you go to credit unions, where you're going? You go into the community banks. They have money that's flowing like water, but they only lend to the community. So you do a foreign filing. You're in Texas. Say, we live. Your community bank's in Florida. I'm doing foreign filing for 100 bucks. I live in Florida now. Now your corp goes in and borrows from the community bank. They're going to make it rain. <laughs> After you okay. go to community bank, then what, what you're going to do? Then you're going to start talking about who? Funds. Now you're looking at this gentleman over here because you've got a nice amount of money. You did business well. Now you're going over to Sean and saying, can you raise us some private equity? 
That's what they do. Now you pull out the corporate book and you open that book up and you have stock in the back of it. Anybody on here have a, have a corporate book that they can show me? Anybody got a corporate book that they can pull out and show? There you go. There's one. Who is that? That's Brother Leslie G. Corporate book. That's the corporate book. How many people are, 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 don't, how many people? There's a brother. See, those are coming out the woodwork. John Scarborough with the corporate book. John, wait a minute. Wise Magnetic, Allah, Allah, Wagbar, I pulled out the corporate book. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? Now you got the corporate book. You done built up your funds. Now you go over to Sean. You say, you know what? Sean, I'm ready. Sean says, you ready for what? I'm ready for funding. Can you take me to the, to the funds, the, uh, the private equity? Sean's going to go in and say, listen, okay, you're doing great. Let's go in. They got a whole call center, a book of guppies, whales, institutional investors. Guppies, whales, institutional investors. A guppy is going to come and get $100,000, you know, uh, uh, giving it to you because you got the corporate book with the stock in it. Get, get you a private placement okay. memorandum. Get your placement memorandum, right? You go in and take it to him, start raising money. I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about that baby money. I'm talking about some good money, so that you can go out and buy apartment complexes, right? Yeah. Right. Now you go in. Yeah. Now, now you want to say, you know, you know what? Okay. I want to like Google. I want to be publicly traded. Who the hell are you gonna run into that's gonna say, you know what? I can I can take you public. This man right here says, you know what? I'll take you public. You could be your own symbol talking about what do you do? Uh, well, you know, I I own a publicly traded company. What? <laughs> Look at the brother there. You see, look what he has. Carlos Galloway. You see what he's showing you? You see what he's showing you? Stock. Look at yeah. brother Carlos right there. <laughs> see? That's what that's it. That's the stamp too. That's the game. Look, corporate stamp right there. That's right. All you, day. You Obama. Look at this. Look at this, guidelines. Look at the corporate book. It's Here we go, baby. Look, it's $125 about or cheaper. Order it online. You got a C Corp. Why you don't order the book? That's like a license to print money if you know how to do it. You can send that over to Sean and says, okay, I know what to do with that. I've been doing this job for 30, for, for 30 years. This is what we have here. I don't know if you guys are understanding you. Okay. Some people are pulling these corporate books out. They understand. Uh, <laughs> okay. No, I know, man. Right. So I know what you're about. I want you guys to understand. So we got class. You can, can you stop? Motherfucking man. That's, uh, that's quite a. That's quite informative. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm beginning to really understand a lot more. Yeah. You know, each time that I. Mm -hmm. Weird. You know, it's such a blessing, yeah. you know, to, to, to have the privilege to learn from the person yeah. and, you know, oh, yeah. and everything. Uh, you know, I, 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 there's only three people that I'm listening to these days, and that's God, my wife, and you. <laughs> <laughs> that's just the truth. That's the truth. There's God first, then I got to listen to the wife, and you. Yeah. That's if, it. If you want to have a good life you better listen to wife <laughs> okay oh yeah oh yeah happy wife in life that's that's right brother that's right 
But uh, that's right. But but, 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 but brother, I got I, I just can't speak enough accolades and edify you enough because uh, you know, this is just unbelievable. This is awesome. This is awesome and unbelievable. And uh, you're absolutely right. Uh, 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 knowledge is not power. Applied knowledge is power. Applied so uh, is power. you know, I'm I'm uh, in the I'm in the embryonic stage of starting uh, some uh, a real estate uh, business and wholesaling and everything like that. And uh, and I'm just I just see the possibilities and everything like that. And in due season, uh, you know, once I raise the necessary capital to to bring things into uh and to you know, to bring things in in the effect with uh, training or whatever the thing like that uh because i see the value is you know whatever whatever matter of fact i've seen how much it costs uh the, the cost not is not a, not not an issue because because this is this is valuable and i have to say you know i was speaking about a ram the bush and everything that's you <laughs> that's you the, the ram in the bush is the is the, is the goose with the golden egg and that's the information and that's the information you know you people like yourself uh sean and uh and millen and you know and, and millen you know i just I, I hey i can't speak enough for uh, accolades and say thank you god bless you god thank bless you. you you know thank and you. you know i'm gonna be here i'm gonna be here and i know that like you say you know i don't even listen to them guys on the internet well, once I started hearing you, that was it. You know, everything's, you know, I don't need to listen to listen to them. Else. People sell books about the Bible. Why should I read a book about the Bible when I can read the Bible? Ooh. That's it. Ooh. You know, hey, and I'm a man of God. I believe I love the Lord and everything. But one thing is this, is that, you know, I ask God for, uh, for understanding and wisdom and knowledge and being able to learn and to humble myself. So I, I consider it an honor and a privilege to, to be able to learn from people like yourself, you know, and I don't take it lightly at all. I, I don't take it lightly at all. I've been taking my notes and everything. And I, you know, I've been, uh, I've been separating it. I've been separated, educating and indoctrinating. You know, I go over this and then I go over it again, you know, and so that, that in due season that I can dominate and celebrate, you know, so, uh, you know, this is, this is real. Wow. You know, this is real. And I think that, like I say, I thank God for you. And, uh, you know, hey, this is this is it. And, you know, I, I need look no further. I need I need the stuff that I have seen and have heard about. It doesn't even compare. It doesn't even compare. You know, they got some good, some nice little, but it, like I say, some nice little stuff. But this is on another level. Because wow. really, it's, it's, it's got like me thinking. You know, I'm thinking, oh yeah, well, maybe if I can get a, a ten a ten million dollar portfolio, what? Ten million? <laughs> oh yeah, you can get ten, that. a yeah. billion. Yeah, yeah. This is yeah. a billion dollar world, brother. This is not and the thing mm -hmm. is is that you have so many people out here who have some some uh really good knowledge and some real money and uh you wonder mm -hmm. why they're just sitting and not and not not sharing, you know, some type of information, you know uh and so i feel privileged when i when i have people like sean and says hey man you know what i'm coming in you know i'm gonna help out then i have people come in and say like like kyle hey, hey, Mo, i'm coming in too man i'm i'm a i'm a share too then i have people like uh millen says hey man you know what uh, hey guys i'm in too you know is it and it's just coming like that it's it's growing like that right like there's a sister on here there's a sister on here right now. Uh, let me see what's it. Sister on uh, uh, Jakeisha Earth. There's a Jakeisha Earth, right? She comes on here. Mm -hmm. The sister has a vast knowledge, brother. You'd be surprised at the people that are on mm -hmm. here just paying attention and listening and just want to be a part and say, I'm going to give back. It's time. Oh, yeah. It's time. Oh, no more of that house well, you know and that field stuff, brother. This is over. That's over. And I'm telling you, well, I don't care who's listening. That's over. This is over. Okay. We got people in here. We got a sister that's just right here, man. man. You got people see these cats pulling out their corporate books. 
they know a little more than the average person. They say, look, oh, man, yeah. I'm hip to that. Check this out. This oh, is yeah. this oh, is yeah. this well, is this well, is a wave. Thing? Like there's a sister right here. Okay, watch look this sister here. Uh what's she doing? There's another sister here. Look, uh, watch this. This uh don't know if she's on yet. Uh, there's Jakeisha here. Jakeisha, can you introduce yourself? Give us about two minutes. What you? What yes, you I can. Thank you, Mr. Whitehead. I am here. This is Jakeisha Earth, everyone. I am an international investment private banker, derivative quantitative easing research analyst, KYC AML. KYC is Know Your Client. AML is anti-money laundering. I have been and doing this type of work for over 28 years now. Started that goal at the age of 18, right out of high school. Have a degree in electrical engineering from New York Institute of Technology. My degree is an engineer. I do major banking instruments. When you talk about MTs, I settle an account with the Bank of International Settlement for the Isabella family of Spain, and that was last year, 2023, and it, it was $547 trillion. I damaged the World Bank, like I said, or the Central Bank, the ECB, and the controllers of the wealth of the world. That's what I do. I trade on large platforms, not just the warriors, but on the internet level where they are paying 200% a week and costing to get in is like 500 million of it or 600 million dollars cash they have smaller ones as well especially when they open up ping programs and things like that where a minimum could be a million dollars to get in I do this on a scale and this is real so what Derek Whitehead is saying and he speak about the Wall Street is, this is true. I can say that for sure, because I've been doing this for over 28 years. And and mm. what I would say is wisdom, build, destroy, because when you add that, that goes back to that knowledge of that and that of that cipher. And you have to have knowledge of self. And the knowledge you are getting here should be able where you know once you have knowledge of self. I did go to school. You don't learn this in school. You are trained at any of these universities. Okay, you are not educated. That's the reason I had to become an autodidact. Because if I was not able to become an autodidact, that I'm not going to get this. So when you do for one and you do work at these banks, that's not for you to sit there and make them rich. You need to be asking them, how can I get into that platform? How can I make that type of money? I'm going to just be exactly. honest. Those destroy evils are not going to tell you that information. So you have to know, okay, you're not telling me, but I already know that I'm smarter than you anyway. So I'm going to go two steps above you, and now I'm going to get that information. Now I'm going to be doing it on my own, and I don't have to work for the bank anymore for 28 mm -hmm. years. Now I'm on a, a long scale, and I'm able to travel abroad the world to G7 and G20. That's what I do. Peace. So what is the G7? A G7 is when you have the seven nations all come to get together. Those are global meetings of seven countries meeting. Then you have the oh. G20 nations or meeting. I know them large shells of meetings. World economics, I've been to Davos, I've been to Copenhagen, traveled the world. And what is your first name again, dear? I know the last name is Earth. What's your first okay. name again? Jakisha, J-A-K-W-E-S-H-A. J-A-K-E, what's that? J-A-K-E, what? Yeah, double E-S-H-A. Okay, Jakeisha. Okay, okay. I, got, I got that, sister. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you so much. So when you, no come, we'll be, yeah. when you come here, this sister comes here, she just listens. Okay? Yeah, and I when think. When she comes here, but if you, can, if you can listen, you may say, whoa, that's an enormous amount of money she's talking about. It's not money. It's it's just numbers in a computer. It's just numbers in a computer. What she's talking about is platforms. When the bank closes, right, they trade at night with all your deposits. 
They shut down and now they open up for real business on platforms and they trade in trillion dollar MTNs, market traded notes. So that's why I'm trying to say to you, there are people that are making massive amounts of money uh, uh, and, and it's not money, it's fiat money. It's just, it's just Willie saying, I have this amount that the bank will give to me. And they're just moving it around. It's, it's flow. Amen. They're just moving it around. Okay. So when I tell you times are changing, we're entering into an era that's called the, the uh, from the Piscean era, we're entering into what they call the age of Aquarius, the dark age into the age of light. And that's why you're having people like this, people like Sean, people like me coming out now. This is the information age. Every 2,000 years, we go into another age. We're entering and adorning the age of Aquarius. So that's why we need to come out and learn. We need to change oh, yeah. this. Oh, yeah. And everybody that's on here, 12 o'clock at night, this is no mistake. So don't take things lightly. Why can't you be the one that can, that can change something? Why can't you be the one that goes public? Why can't you be the one that changes your whole family around? This is no mistake. Don't take things lightly. Right. So all I'm saying Amen. is, is, is take this and take it and run with it and teach your children. You can change the, you can change the, the whole plateau. Amen. Amen. I, I, uh, I, I see, I see the possibility. As a matter of fact, I only see some possibilities. And I say that with wisdom in, in, in the, when I say some possibilities, because you don't know what you don't know. And that is in regard to the knowledge that people like yourself and Miss Earth has, as well as Sean and others, Kyle and everything like that. So uh, I'm a firm believer of your net worth. Your net worth is your net worth. Your net worth is worth your net worth. And so, you know, I'm interested in being around people who are others. They can't take me to a place called there. And that's where you guys are. Thank you so much, brother. And thank you, sister, for speaking. Thank you, Sean. No, I thank you. Thank you. Brother. I thank you. I thank you. Thank you. We're Amen. All God bless you all. Thank you, brother. So let's see if we have another sister here. Is there another sister with a question? Is there a sister here with her hand up? Hand raised. Okay, Dion, Dion Cryer. Mr. Mr. Whitehead, um, I stepped away for a second. I didn't hear that you called my name. Oh, uh, uh, but, 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 but I'm sorry, brother. You were not there when we called, so I'm sorry. We have to we have we have to move on. I'm sorry, brother. All right, no problem. Ah, <laughs> 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 I get him every time. Yes, sir. What's your question? <laughs> um, uh, Jeff, my name is Andre. I'm from New York. Shout out to everybody on the call. Um, my question is, um, where do you purchase your silver from, and how would I invest in the silver? How do I get a silver mine? Well, well, you basically want to turn the fake money we give to the bank with the willy, and we want to go and make sure money is only gold, silver. The stuff we call money is not money. So we want to make sure we take a certain amount of the fake money and take a little bit of that and buy real gold, silver, property. That's why they call it, that's why they call it real estate. It's not fake money. It's something you can touch. So you turn that fake money, if you keep your money in a bank and the bank crashes, there goes your money because it's not real. But if you have, if you have real estate, why not go build up a certain amount and then go to Sean and say, I want to buy an apartment complex. I want to buy 50 doors, 100 doors. Why not? 65% occupied. And you got money coming in, coming in, plus you're paying the bank. Huge amounts of money coming in with a, with a manager. And all you're doing is calling the manager. Hey, how you doing today? What's going on? That's, that's what you're supposed to be doing non-performance income you don't perform that's over
two. That's over. All this run court, singing and dancing. You only do that if you love what you're doing, not because you need the money. That's got to stop too. Okay? We don't do this because we need no, it. Foot. Because we need it. So, so what we want to do is, is turn it into, into real things, real property, lands, houses, cars, planes, whatever. Turn off your mic. Okay? So we want to go in and turn it into real property. Now, as far as your gold and silver, you want to buy gold and silver, we own a Temecula jewelry here in, in Temecula, California, uh, around wine country. And so you want to buy your gold, we sell uh, diamond uh, rings, wedding rings, and, and uh, gold and silver at spot price. You want to buy gold at spot price. What is spot price? Spot price means uh, uh, you are, uh, you're buying it. At, at 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 what the price of gold is now and not on top uh somebody putting something on top of it and if you can you get your gold and don't put your name up out on it just try to get it from somewhere where you're not saying you're writing something that says you got the gold because in 1930 35 i think 35 or 33 they said all gold must be turned in so we don't want that to happen to us again, right? So so I'm not saying that uh, I just know people that do this. I'm not saying for you to do this. I'm just saying I know people that, that, that do this. So get a hold of gold and silver. I think a couple of times I went in and, and I pulled out some uh, 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 a bag of gold and solid silver bars online for those of you watching watching me for a while just to show you that this is what we need to do we're not just talking okay so that's how you get to get through a spot price okay um do you um have any idea on how to invest in the silver mine like how to how to purchase a silver mine a silver okay. mine a silver mine is going to be uh, uh a serious undertaking serious undertaking you're going to have to be able to uh heavy equipment you know you're going to have to and most of the time that's going to be you know uh in the u.s most of the people have uh you can find gold and silver and and uh mine it but that's you know kind of small for you to go in and get something out of the u.s in the form of mine in the u.s is going to be billions so your best bet is going over to, you know, out of the country. Now, if you go to Africa, a lot of times you got to grease a lot of palms. You got to grease a lot of palms, you know, but most of all, of uh, everything that we need is right there in Africa. That's why all the, so rather than go for gold, I would start looking at more like uh, uh, Coltrane. Uh, which is similar to gold, the great conductivity. That's what the Chinese are over there in Africa trying to steal out of there. Uh, or or uh, lithium. Lithium is the new gold. With these batteries, everything's becoming solar. So I would go in and try to look at lithium, uh, stuff like that. You know, manufacturing. We don't manufacture anything. If, 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 if they stop selling us toilet paper, we will not wipe. We'd be done. And Gerald and Dillard. Okay. If they stop, if they stop uh, selling us socks, we we we'll go shoeless. We don't make anything anymore, right? So uh, we are pretty much, you know, the the, the purveyors of uh, of uh, 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 all at most of everything that's ever been invented. We came up with and said, hey. Uh, here's a stoplight. Let's do this. Let's do that. In two, uh, after slavery, we came in. We own one percent of all the wealth in this country because we were inventing our behinds off. Now we don't have any people, any anybody that manufactures. Manufacture a damn uh, a damn uh, fan. If you manufactured a fan and just sold the fan online, you'd be a multimillionaire. 
Man, learn how to manufacture. Stop being buyers and become sellers and manufacturers. Stop thinking small. You can go in and put a, man, a little manufacturing company together somewhere in a little, a, a, a little, <laughs> little spot somewhere. Bless you. Thank you. Manufacturing. So, uh, thank you, brother, for the question. Uh, Dion Siler. Mr. Whitehead, uh, it's Dion Cryer from St. Yeah. Louis. Wonderful, wonderful. Just give me the answer. I mean, the question, try to give the answer, and don't give me the background. Just give me the question. Okay. Um, this is, I have a couple, but they're. Well, we, um, let's, let's, do, let's, do, let's do one question uh, because we have a lot, okay. of, a lot of people. A, oh, yeah, to, okay, no problem. It's about your program, the price. Uh, so, he gave the the total price for everything, and I was just wondering after uh, after that price is paid, uh, how much money uh, do you estimate we would need to complete your process of getting funded? Well, or will that one price be enough for everything? Well, that what are the build up costs? Well, that would that would depend on uh, your credit. You may, if you have your credit together, then you don't have to worry about that. Eight twenty five. Okay, so we won't talk about that. <laughs> uh, uh, but we want to make sure you don't have. Uh, we want to make sure that you have your website. So that would be the largest cost. After that, right? So it depends on uh, if you're gonna build it just. You build it yourself or get it built. We can send you to somebody to build out the website, but you need a website, but it should be a age website and an age domain. Everything else is going to be relatively small, like, uh, you know, maybe like a, a, a phone number with an 800 number attached to it. $14, you know, with, with the people we, we do, we can send you to, uh, uh, your your uh, your phone number, your address uh, that that could be probably uh, probably fifty dollars. You know, depend on where you you get your corp from, right? So the, the 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 main price after that would be would be your website. That would be your most expensive around, or you can. We can send you to, to uh, Tanya or somebody and help you with your website. But there's not too much more expense after that. The rest is I want you to understand how to run your company. That's more important than anything. You get a bunch of money and they say, okay, here's a court. Most companies say, here's a court. Bye. Lexus, yeah. Lex, you know, yeah, you're going to turn around and say, okay, how are you going to structure it? How are you going to be the CEO? You want to be the CEO, not just somebody that has a court and then running around and making mistakes, you know. Dumb shit. Common shit, yeah, dumb shit, yeah. <laughs> we don't want you to do that, okay? So the most, the majority of what you're paying for is guidance and consultation. It's not really the court much you're paying for, is it? It's really the, the consultation and the guidance and the information. Because we're going to try to do how to set this thing up so that you are the CEO. You have a corporation that you says that we are, you understand the proper structure um, and, and, uh, and know that, say, for instance, to get the corporation in a certain area, if you go out and you have a low, let's say you get a corporation in uh, the hood with uh, the zip code. Where you should have the highest zip code for your address that you can find. Because I'm a banker, I taught these guys. If you go in, guess what? And you have, uh, you're in Beverly Hills, you're gonna have an office in Beverly Hills, you're gonna get much more funding. If you are in the, in the hood, they don't lend to the hood. 
There's no regu there's no regulation. They nobody making them land to the hood. They say there's a high risk area, but people have money in the hood. But you know, you ever never have dental offices or medical facilities in the hood, unless it's some free health care or something, because it takes you, you have to have X-ray machines and you have to have all kind of machines, and they they don't buy that with their money. They they need credit to get that, and the bank's not going to give them the credit to put that in the hood. So that's why you don't have those in the hood, right? So make sure you want to make sure things like having the high, picking out the highest zip code to have your office in. There's things like that that you need to learn. You don't want to go down the line and making these mistakes. We want you to go as fast as possible and have the knowledge that you're supposed to have. Okay, so it's pretty much it's pretty much we're cheaper than most people anyway and we're selling unpublished corporation but the main thing is is that we, we want you to have the knowledge like a like an age domain you don't get a brand new domain the bank can see that you go and you have 50 hits on your court they want 40. they look at who is and see how many how much you have what's the age of your domain these things are important so we want you to scale, right? We, I, I sell corporations <laughs> without any of this information. People just come in, I want to buy an age corporation. Okay, here you go. Here you go. And you provide it, the nuances. Yeah, but see, the thing is, is, is here, I spend, I don't know how long we've been on here, but how many hours? Hour. Because I want you to understand more than everybody on that internet because we are not here by mistake. I mean that. We're not here by mistake. We are here for a reason. Everybody's over Chicago. That's why I say, where are you from? So I'm from Chi-Town. I'm from New York. I'm from, you know, uh, Wisconsin. I'm from the world. Just so we all can be here tonight, we ain't going to never get this back again in your life. So you're, here, indeed. you're here for a reason. God got me here 30 years so I could come here and say, I'm going to teach the people. Millen, he's in, he's in damn Europe right now. You know what time it is in Europe? It's day, it's daytime in Europe. He's been up all night. This guy here don't, do, don't need the money, but take my word, Sean don't need the money. This guy's up here at night. It must be 12 o'clock where he is. So we didn't all come here, met Sean years and years ago. We never thought we were going to be here doing damn webinars and teaching. But here we are. Here's a lady here, right? Jakesha Earth. We all here for a reason. If anything, she's motivates you. If anything. So don't take this for granted. It. We are not here by mistake, right? No, no tree. Trees are here not by mistake. They're here to filter you, your 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 air. They have a purpose. And if we don't have a purpose, what the hell are we here for? We're just an empty shell. You ever eat a you ever eat peanuts and all of a sudden you crack a shell and ain't got shit in it? Pardon my language. <laughs> You're like, it's an empty shell. We got too much of us walking around empty. No substance. Don't even know what the hell we're here for. We're here for a purpose. So make this purpose worthwhile. Let's do something. We got kids on here who are from, from 19 all the way up to, I'm old. I'm, I'm just, I just look like this. I was around with Jesus. Shit. So we got, I, I got a lot of stuff that I could be doing. We could, this guy takes companies public. You know how much he's going to make to take a company public in the daytime? But he's out here talking about, ask me a question. He don't care whether you come to damn seminar or not. I mean, serious. I mean, he cares, but it ain't going to hurt him. You don't come to seminar. You don't ask him a question. He's not hurting. He said, okay, Derek, I'll come in and ask me some questions. I'm going to give. I'm going to give this. So you guys need to learn this and teach your children and then help. That's all I ask is just help. 
help you with this. We here for so, yes, I really so oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Whitehead. Yes, I was sir. just gonna say I really do appreciate is on here sharing their time. I've been in the process of learning about investing and I um, I just want to know like after we get funded, is there um, specific directions on how we can then use that money to continue growing because you know everybody can get a lump sum of money but if you don't invest it properly you'll just be in the same position maybe worse and, uh, maybe worse because if you don't do yeah. it properly then you're gonna then you're gonna have to say well let me clean my credit again and and that stuff takes time and and uh, you mismanage your money it's harder holding it than it is than it is getting it. So that's why I want, want you to structure it the proper way, be able to have what they call an exit strategy. Anytime you go into a, 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 a club or a, or a party or anywhere you go, first thing I'm looking for is how the hell do I get out of here if something goes wrong? Where's the exit? Even when you get on the exits, one here, one there, such and such, is a floating device get this thing the air you gotta know how to get the hell out of it so the same thing with this if you do it right you can what they call a golden parachute usually they say that for like people golden parachute for people retirement but i like the sound of it of like getting the hell out and jumping out that plane and saying it crashed i floated down that's what i like to say and use it for right <laughs> so so you want to make sure that you just don't think serendipitous about, oh man, it's going to be so great when I get this money. Good. Think about it and go wrong more than you think about what's going to be fabulous. That's how we think as businessmen. Uh, what's going to go wrong? How safe is my money? And keep growing, growing it, growing it, growing it. There ain't no difference in Oprah except somebody's teaching her. That's how she rides over there. She the Tyler Perry came in. She took him under the wing. Now he's a damn near billionaire. If he had nobody to teach him nothing, he wouldn't be doing all that he's doing. So look at look at look at what's the name? You got uh Warren Buffett behind him, uh uh, uh Floyd Mayweather. I was just with him. I was just with him out at, at, at uh, uh, Johnny Dane's uh, birthday party down in Houston. The guy that makes all the grills yeah. for the rappers. I was invited. I'm usually the only finance guy invited stuff like that. But um, um, I was just with them. Floyd showed up. Got bodyguards, Rolls Royces. Money, money, spinning, spinning, money, spinning, spinning. How do you think he keeps afloat? Somebody. Buffett, Warren Buffett is teaching it. You can spend all you want, but you got this much that's going to bring you in every year, so you can you can spend. Somebody teach, but who's who who teaching you? Somebody's got to teach you. I don't know. Come there, there he is preaching again, right? <laughs> all right, all right. Thank you for your question, buddy. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. Now, is there a lady ask a question? Hi, good night. Um, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Hi, hi, I'm Candice from the Caribbean. Um, I've been here from the beginning. It's like 1 a.m. now. And my question is really quick because it was answered in the chat. There's some really good questions in the chat as well. Um, it's about how am I and what is the process going to be like as a non-national, but an owner of a C corporation in the United States? Is the process going to be different for funding? And if it is, what is it going to look like? And um, including being giving up, having a proper credit report and score. What does it look like for a non-national? Thank you. Do you have an EIN? Do you do you have a social? No, um, 
No, I have my company uh, has an EIN. Your company, you already have a company. Yeah, it's a sequel. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. So who is the signer on the court? There must yeah. be there must be a yeah, citizen. He is. He's a yeah. citizen, right? Mm -hmm. So then he's gonna be the person uh that's going to be PG in the corporation. It doesn't affect you at all. Mm. Okay, and if if I if I were to try and become a PG, I would have to go through that whole process of getting a social. Uh, well, um, we're looking into uh, working that out uh, with a TIN number, mm -hmm. uh, but we haven't we haven't mm -hmm. fully. Uh, close that in. I know some people that know how to do that. We're we're looking into that. We're also looking into uh, two banks that have pretty pretty much uh, uh, approved us because a lot of people on here looking when you don't think they're looking. And so we have banks that have come on here. People that says, "Hey, you know, uh, I'm such and such of this bank and this and that, and we would like to lend." Uh, the people that don't have money to buy your corp and buy your course and and uh, we get them the money and they pay us so that we think so that they can afford your program mm -hmm. now isn't that something so you never know the people are yeah. saying i want to give yeah. i want to give i want to be a part of, i want to give back there's two banks that already said okay finished the paperwork we finished up the paperwork and they say well okay you're pretty much approved we're just waiting for the finals. So there won't be too many people that say, well, I don't have the funds. I don't have this. I don't have that. And, uh, well, uh, there's two banks that jump. It's okay. This is what we're going to do. It's this beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. So the answer to your question is, is, uh, is, uh, 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 we're looking into that, so so keep checking back with us uh, when we finish talking to this person. Because I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna in, implement something that I haven't checked out the best mm -hmm. I can, you know. So I can well, sure we have that, you know. I'm not a I'm not about bringing people on that aren't you know aren't sure, clear, total clarity, and and real in what they're talking about. So I'll have them come yeah. on as a guest. And explain this to you, uh, because I uh, there is uh, there is a way to do that, but like I said, nobody knows everything, right? So I don't know everything, but I'm I'm looking into that. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah. Mr. Watson. Hey, Mr. Is there any echo? Because I got my Bluetooth connected. Is it not an echo, is it? Oh, no. No, I can hear you good. Just just to, uh, tell me where you're from, great, what's great, your great. name, and just give me the question. Well, I'm from Chicago. I'm from Chicago um, by, way of, by way of Nashville. Okay. But just to get right to the point, because I know you want a long background drop. So um, the part about the, the, the banks that would prove people not real funding for it. So what about if they had half the funding? You know what I'm saying? So actually, I got on this call to ask you about those particular bankers. I watched the video that came, my email you sent out from your office. Had the uh, black guy and white guy explaining how they buy $500 million worth of debt on a monthly basis. Now, I want to know more information about that because I got a, I got a couple of guys that I run with. And we looked at our own little investment thing too. So my, my, my real question here is, we kind of got part of it, but the, the, the ending part of it is this. So once we pay the fee to like the young lady just asked about buying the corp and it comes with it comes with consultation it comes with the structuring and, 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 and you being right there to walk us through the process so basically we, we latched on to you for life we just follow your mentorship once we pay that fee and is that is that correct in what i'm saying well uh uh i'm hoping that life is a long time so i don't know how it's going <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, you know, what I'm latch on to us for fifty <laughs> you, years. <laughs> yes, you, know. you like the you like you like the firmament, man. You like the firmament, so we want to just grab onto him and your garment. 
<laughs> and, 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 uh, and follow suit and make this thing, make this thing rock. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. Um, uh, we basically help you get the court built up and, and this, and, uh, um, you know, send you to people. We're not brokers. We're not finders. We're not attorneys. We're not, uh, we are consultants. We're not tax people or, or we're not even funders. You know, we send you out to people who can do that, you know, who we feel comfortable with doing that. But, you know, once we send you out there, then you're in their hands. Um, but we want to make sure that you know how to run your company and prepare you so that you can be the, have the best chances of getting the uh, maximum amount, you know, as, as underwriters. Um, so once we will send you over to them, of course, I mean, you can always say, hey, I got a question. You know, I want you to succeed. So we're not going to say, oh, no, you're, uh, you got your court by. No, we're going to, uh, you know, I don't care how long it is. <laughs> once you become affiliated with me uh, on this platform, we're going to do our best. I don't care if it's 50 years from now. You you always call me and say, you know, uh, or somebody on the team. Uh, if they're not gotten into something else, you know, you can't, you can't tell when people, uh, Sean might fly off to Africa or New Zealand or so who knows, it may be very hard for me to contact him and ask him a question on your behalf. But, uh, as long as we can, we'll be there to try to, uh, answer a question for you. Okay, great. Um, I actually called, I left a message on, on one of your prompters earlier. For somebody to get back with me, but um, another pay, I got two more pay periods, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and drop in the program. But I want the, want the one that you just mentioned tonight. Um, I think his name is Million. Million. That's how you pronounce his name. Million, yeah, Million. Yeah, Million. Yeah, yeah I liked it. I liked it, the package, man. This is my second time being on the call, and I'm I'm jacked out my mind, man. I'm Thank just you. I'm telling you, I watch the call like it's like it's going to church. It's like going to church, man. Thank <laughs> Straight you. up. Appreciate the time, King. Thank you, brother. Just call me Pastor Whitehead. Just <laughs> <laughs> all right. We'll say Chuck. He's real. I know he's real. <laughs> okay, brother. Thank you for that. Thank you so much, brother. Wise magnetic Allah. Wise magnetic Allah. You know, in there, peace. Doing. Yes, peace and blessings to you, brother. Okay, good, good. Peace to everybody else in the in the in the call there. I appreciate everybody showing up and giving up that good information in the chat too. Um, so I had a question about um you said something about uh when you uh basically liquidate the credit cards to pay yourself or to use to uh, make an investment. I wanted to know, like when you're talking about buying the cars, you know what I mean, on the three cards. Yeah. I wanted to know how would you do that through the merchant account without being responsible for paying taxes on that. You know, like if you liquidated uh, 150,000, would whoever the merchant was be liable for the taxes on that? Uh, yeah, that's why you. That's why you're going to pay them. That's why you're going to pay the merchant. Uh, a fee for doing that. Mo most merchants are not going to do just do that for free unless you have a okay. sister or a cousin or somebody that had that that gets a merchant account through another business of theirs. Then you can, but it's always going to be taxes. But that's why you have a good CPA, no matter what business you have. Yeah, okay. So the tax is not really on you. It's going to be on the merchant. I see what you're saying, but. But um, all right, I see what you're, you're going to pay them. Saying. You're going to pay them a fee for doing that for you. Okay, to cut to kind of cover the tax the tax uh, that they would have on that occur from that. Yeah. All right, all right. Now, uh, one more question, quick, real quick. When you were talking about lending from one company to the other company, and then lending it back to create those trade lines for the company, would that also work in the personal side too? Like how you say you give a hundred thousand over here, and then you give the hundred thousand back, you lend it back, and now you both now both companies have that hundred thousand dollar trade line. 
uh, usually it's going to be yes. done through a business. You can do that, but uh, that's usually going to be, uh, it's better suit, suited through a company. Um, company? Yeah, you're trying to build a trade line. Uh, you're trying to do like some zombie debt where you buy it. That's how the best way to do, you know to put the trade lines on your personal, but but okay. But for you to take okay. a, for you to take a personal uh, and 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 say I bought I lent money to John and John lent money to me. Um, in order for that to report, uh, uh, that you 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 want that to report to Equifax Experian TransUnion. In order to do that, you're going to have to be hooked up with the bureaus to report 100, 300 or 500 accounts every month. So you're not going to be able to get that. Oh, money. okay. Yeah, that's how you do that. All right. All right. And that's all I wanted to know. I'll let, I'll let the questions continue. I appreciate it. Peace. Yes, Peace and blessings. Let's see. Is there a lady, female? Like we got three more. T Banks and then Leroy uh -huh. and then Melvin. What's your question? Tell me your name, where you're from, okay. and then and then just give me the question. One question, not the background. Okay, I'll go. Uh, I just have a quick question. If Willie is still doing well, or even if he's not, and you've created Wilhelmina, would it be advantageous to go back to those same banks or lenders for Wilhelmina since you've made relationships with them? Most and does the number of inquiries you have matter on the business side as they do on the personal side? No, if you're PG and then you, the, the business doesn't have an inquiry, the, this you is the oh, PG right. that encompasses okay. the inquiry, right? Right. And 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 uh, when when Willie starts borrowing on his own, they're not there's like really no inquiries. Okay. That's under water law. It's not under moral law. Moral law is, is the inquiries and all that stuff. They don't have that in corporations. Inquiries. Okay. They have rating and, and uh, uh, stuff like that. You know, like your rating should be one to two. Then you have your score. And then you have your risk factor should be one to two. Okay. Make, make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. It doesn't make sense. Don't leave here without making sense. No, I got it. All right. I got it. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Let's see. Leroy Peters III. Give me your name. What's your question? What's your Greetings, Bishop. Whitehead, <laughs> I'm calling from uh, Los Angeles. Uh -huh. All right. Yes, man, you you, you preach you pre that word of, of that finance. Um, really quick question. I'm, I'm over here dotting my eyes and crossing my T's when I'm trying to get ready. Uh, you mentioned before about having a lease. Now, the place where I've had my business for the last several years is I've had a service agreement. Is that okay? Uh, As opposed to a lease? Say that once again. I was looking at somebody asking a question about uh, it was rating and it was risk factor. Rating and risk factor should be no more than one or two. And then you got your score. Then you have your uh, your, your your score, which you want to have an eighty, achieve an eighty. So go ahead, brother. What was your question again? Welcome. Yeah, I was said I was over here uh, dotting my eyes and crossing my teeth so far as getting uh, my company ready for the uh, uh, take a long, long time like that. And so um, the place where I've had my office for several years, we have a service agreement, and you had mentioned having a lease. Does that service agreement matter? Uh, you know, so far as will it stop you from getting uh, the uh, how does the bank look at that? A service agreement as opposed to a lease? Um, uh, a lot of banks aren't going to ask you a lease. They're certain they're not, not going to ask you for, for a lease for credit cards, right? So basically what you're looking at is installment lines. And and when you're, when you're getting larger amounts, uh, 
uh, from the bank, then they may do a site visit or they may ask you for a lease. But there's so many banks, brother, until uh, if, if you ask them, always ask before you go in and, and apply. Don't go in blind. Just ask. Say, mm -hmm. hey, will you guys require a lease? They tell you, say, okay, eh, I don't have one. Bye. I'll go to the next one. Don't waste, don't, don't, don't <laughs> waste, don't waste your time, you know? Just a, open your mouth and say, hey, you guys require this? Can I do, can I do, can I do one pull and get three of your of your uh 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 products? See the banks call them products. When they lend you money, it's called this, we have this product and this product and this product. We have a loan product, installment line product, we have a credit card product, we have another credit card, we can get two credit cards. From Navy, you can get two credit cards, you can get a installment line, and you can get a car. They got four <laughs> products, basic products that you can get at one time. So the money is there. I mean, why are we running around talking about Section 8? The money is there. Willie, fix your FICO, and rock and roll and enjoy, <laughs> right? And do something with it, and then build it up, and then go say next level. Oh, Sean. Okay, next level. Oh, Kyle. Okay, next level. Uh, public traded company. I mean, just keep going. After you get a certain amount of money, now it becomes a game. See, when you're struggling and you got to go to work every day, you can't think, and that's the way they want you. Eight, ten hours, two hours going to work. Coming back, half an hour break. Give me a break. Give me a break. <laughs> right? And then you come back home right. and you go to eight hours sleep. And you got, what, five hours to yourself? Sometimes you'll take away from your eight hours sleep so you can party a little bit longer, right? <laughs> Let's go to movies, honey. And then you got to get something to eat. Your whole day's gone for some damn body else. Making them I'm rich. Trying to study good. And they sitting there back on them, you know, uh, where you at now? Oh, we in the Bahamas. You know, uh, how's the workers? <laughs> workers, uh, workers are doing good. <laughs> the workers are doing good. Okay, because we next stop is going to be Tahiti. We're on a cruise. Oh, really? And you working and working and working and working. You can't think. So once you get you some seed money, then you go on and get you some foundation capital. Then you go over and shoot to somebody like a Sean and say, take it on up. Then it becomes the art of the deal, the game. How much can I accomplish? Not how many damn, you know, Pasha simples you can buy. Not how many custom suits you can get. That plays out. You know, I got my first uh, uh, a Rolls Royce. It was, oh, man. And, then, and, and I had that car detailed. I had to pay the guy $600 to detail my car. After about a year, I was eating chips and drinking soda and throwing them in the back seat. It just, it, 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 now you're ready for something, to, to the next thing. Now you're going to get the, 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 the Lambo. <laughs> I'm with my fool old behind racing people up down the freeway. They they driving up next to me. And I'm like, <laughs> after a while, I'm driving 50, say people in the horn. Won't you hurry up and go? I'm like, man, that's over. I'm not even interested in that anymore. Now I'm ready for see what yeah. now I want a cullinan. Now I want a boat. It never stops. It's just a game. How, how, I'm on the ball. I made the team. I'm sitting on the bench, though. Hell, I want to be the VIP. Oh, hell, I want a ring. That's what this business is about. That's the mindset that you should have. I'm going in, and when I get to a certain level where I don't have to worry no more, and I can think to be the CEO, now, Let's see how high I can go. It's the art of the deal, okay? 
Oh, I've been flipping houses. Let me see if I can buy an apartment complex. If I don't get it, I ain't hurting. I'm still living. I'm still going to Tahiti. I got enough money. Why do I have to work for people? It's the art of the game, the deal. Sean and said, man, working for these people, they said, you know what? We're in a boiler room making billions for people. Sean and them said, start our own company. They took their own company public. It became, it, be, it became, how much can I do? Once you get started on this, I'm planting a seed, hopefully, and you need to go to sleep saying, man, man, man. and don't just be a window shop or a dreamer. Go on and go and get it. Go and buy it. Go and get it. Your, your wife says to you, I want Louis Vuitton. You say, anything else, babe? <laughs> anything, anything else babe? that's all you want shit okay fine you 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 be look at the rings this guy got on <laughs> we this is Collis Galloway anybody look at this camera <laughs> look at the ball Super Bowl rings what the hell See the people you have on here? <laughs> Look, go big or go home. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, so Mr. White here preaching again. I, Marvin Williams, what's, what's your, uh, did I answer your question, brother? No, yes, you did. Yes, you did. But my, my, I, I just want to say, if we're going to have another one of these meetings, we can do it on a on a cruise. That's what I'm talking about. You got to enjoy. You can't just make this money and not do it. You know, uh, when we go, we go. You, and he's been, anybody that's been to one of these, they know it's the chandeliers and five, eight Rolls Royces and Lamborghinis. And when you come and we say, come ride with us. You got people out there. We got people up. Where you going? We're going to the party after. So, let's roll, right? Let's go. Let's go. How we rolling? Have fun. It's just. I'm sorry, sir. Did you say Marvin Williams? It's just credit. It's just credit. It's just sister. It's sister talking about trillions. Look. Don't say, oh, yeah, right, sure. Don't you know the bank tra tra trades at night in trillions? MTNs, look that up. Market traded notes in trillions. I'm not in her world, but in my world, in banking, they trade trillions. So don't take that shit lightly. This is, this is, a, this is a monster game. Monster game, but I need us to start in, in, indulging in this game. My brother Marvin Williams. Last question, brother Marvin yes. Williams. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. What name were you right, from? from Give me the question. I'm mean, Marvin Williams I'm from Detroit, Michigan. Um, I had a question uh, a couple of hours ago. You were saying something about the holding company. Being an umbrella to the HC court. Um, my question is kind of a quick two part, but the first part of the question is can that C court be an umbrella to a foundation? Because you know to say the foundation could loan money to a nonprofit. So basically the H court, the HC court would be an umbrella to the foundation, which would be over the nonprofit. The C Corp, the holding yes, court, the, the trust, I'm sorry. the C Corp, Mama Corp, DBAs down underneath it, holding court, the holy assets to protect it, trust, right? 
super, yeah. super, what they call a, 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 a super protection, right? The trust and the, and the, and the nonprofit or the foundation is going to be in a cloud somewhere. It's not connected to any of this because you're going to take whatever money uh, that in upside down T, remember that? Yes. The upside down T is there to save you capital gains tax. Put the money back in, it grows a little wider and you grow up in money. Or, you know, we call it money. Revenue, however you want to call it, right? And then put the money okay. back in and it grows higher. Back in, it forces you to be rich. So that helps you with capital gains. And then if you got $10 million and you're putting the money back in, right? And now you're saying, well, wait a minute. I got $9 million I put back in this company. I don't know what to do with it. I, I done bought the, the cars. I done bought the uh, everything. I got a million. What am I going to do with this? I'm not going to give it away 400000 out that million to uncle. I don't have an Uncle Sammy. So I have to take that million and say, I'm putting that into, hey, babe, why, 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 why don't you start a, a, a foundation? And you take that me and put it in the foundation. That has nothing to do with any of that other stuff. Right? It's not connected at all. But you put that in that foundation. Now, you're not worrying about 37, almost 40% of that of, of taxes. You're worrying about 15% to show. Because the 85% you get to hold on to. Or you get to, or you get to lend. So you want to give away... 400,000 of a million or you want to get or you want to show show 15% 15,000 so that C corp will lend that money to the foundation no it's going to give the money to the foundation investing. so I'm getting right invest yes to the foundation yeah. and the foundation is going to say okay we are nonprofit because we're here to help society that's why we have nonprofit status that's how you got that. You're a court that turned nonprofit because we were to help society. So they say, okay. okay, you ain't got to worry about the taxes, but you got to show us that you're doing something for society. So you got to show about five to fifteen percent of what you did with it. So go out and maybe uh, uh, donate that money to the church or whoever. But you got fifty. You got eighty-five percent, eight hundred fifty thousand of that million. That you can say, hey, cuz, you got 850000 here. Why don't you buy apartment complex or some, or some apartments, and I'll lend you the money from my foundation. And then you're going to pay me interest, so we're going to be making money. Instead of giving it away, you're making money. So Aramaic or Latin, which you want to you speak? Do you want to speak, take the red pill or the blue yeah. pill? We're talking red pill right. here. We are. I'm on the matrix. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, I the boss the is saying the holding company in the age court would be in either Wyoming or Florida for tax purposes. So they kind of answered the question can it be in uh, can uh, one place be in one state and send money to another uh, entity in a different state? Huh? Sure, I mean, sure, can send, sure, but uh, um, you can have the corp in any state. It's just that do you want to pay California tax at $800 a year just to have a corp in all the high taxes or New York with all the high taxes? Or do you want to pay, be in uh, Wyoming where it's $50 a year to, to have a corp annual fee? Right. It's on you. Okay. Appreciate you, sir. All right. All right. Thank you, everybody, for being here with Derek Whitehead. We've been talking our behinds off tonight. We're supposed to be in here a, a two-hour webinar. We I don't know how long it's been, but that's okay. We're on a timer. 
And uh, <laughs> we didn't give a damn about the timer again tonight. So we're Derek White Air 360 CEOs. We're not brokers. We're not finders. We're not attorneys. We are consultants. If you need anybody in those areas, please consult those people. We're not tax people, and we're not we're not uh, funders, right? So we're not. Uh, uh, we we are here to give you this information from our perspective, right? There's nothing solid and gold and nothing because uh, this is our perspective. And so in saying that, uh, me, Sean, uh, Jakeisha, Kyle, uh, and all the people involved, we can't be Martin Luther King. I can't be Malcolm X. I can't be any of those people, but I can be Derek Whitehead. All right. So we want to just give out what the, for some of the stuff that we've gotten in. You cannot, you cannot do anything unless you get up and do something. Knowledge is not power. They say that, but the application of knowledge is power. So if you sit there on the couch and you take all this knowledge, you have insulted me, your children, and everybody else. We got to get up, get busy, get popping and utilize this knowledge and utilize the people that the Lord is putting in front of you. Right? <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to end this mm -hmm. by saying, who's going to show you this for the internet for free? And I'm going to count the one, two, three, and we all going to say nobody. So who's going to show you all this on the internet for free? One, two, three, nobody. 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 Thank you, brother. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Love you, Mr. Whitehead. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Whitehead. I love you. Thank you. I really do. God bless you. Not a damn mother. Not a damn mother. Love you too. Love everybody there.